Right. Oh, I haven't turned my lights on, have I? Whoops. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Hola, hola. Levels look good. Didn't actually shut the mic before I went on. There we go. It's all fine. There we go. Right. There we go. Awesome. Oh, feeling a bit warm today. But yeah, we're jumping straight back into Heaven's Ward. Last time we finished, well, we finished Heaven's Ward last time, didn't we? Hey, Brett, how you doing? Um, yeah, we finished Heaven's Ward on Thursday. And today we're going to jump into post Heaven's Ward. We're going to start with an uncertain future. From Athenord. Hello. Wait. Fortuitous timing as always, Sunbucks. Tatari was about to brief me on the search for our missing comrades. You would be, if you would be so kind, then. Absolutely. You'll be pleased to hear that Riol and his men have been making excellent progress. Do you remember how Philemon helped to escape the Crystal, uh, crystal Braves in Limsa Lamenta, only to then disappear? Well, according to Riol, she crept aboard a ship bound for Radzadhan, where she's been hiding ever since. He assures me that it won't be long before we're reunited. As for Edo and Papalumo, the remains of their link pearls have been found, and in Pearl Lane of all places. We all think they must have disposed of them after escaping from the Royal Promenade. That's good. Yes, that would make sense. They could not risk being eavesdropped upon by our betrayers. We are all but certain they fled the city shortly after, though we still don't have a clue where they went. I see. What a Thancrad and Mink me Felio. I'm afraid I have nothing new to share about those two, but it's not at all doom and gloom. The good news is we've enlisted the services of a Charlayan scholar and uh, one of the uh, students about one of the students about Issyon to aid in the search, who should be arriving any day now. Oh, one of the students, you say? I should very much like to meet this scholar if, if time permits. Yeah, me too. But first, we must attend to a more pressing matter. Sir Aemic has summoned the two of us for a private audience. The messenger did not specify what he wished to discuss, only that it was urgent. Assuming we have, you have no objections, Sunbucks, I suggest we proceed to the congregation forthwith. And mayhap we can meet with the scholar afterwards. Agreed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that case, I think I'll return to the Forgotten Knight for now. Things are liable to fall apart if I'm gone too long, you know. Hmm. Oops. Oops. Feel like poo. Ah, oh, Brit, why is that? Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not feeling 100% myself, to be honest. Oh. Feeling very warm. Oh, a bit uncomfortable. Why, well, yeah, what's up with you, Brit? What's going on? Chat with Aramic. Four commanders within, yes, let's go. You know it's not going to be a voice scene because the music's quite loud, I'm guessing. Thank you for coming. Oh. I wish to speak with you both in a place where privacy was assured. Actually, I haven't said that. I did turn the volumes up <laughs> a couple of days ago, so there is that. Yeah. Not bad. I quite understand. What was it that you wished to discuss? Uh, my sinuses started draining yesterday, and today I have the sinus headache. Sore throat. Can't breathe out of my nose, so I have to be a mouth breather. I hate it. Oh, um, have you, do you know what it is? Like, is it, do you know if it's, uh, COVID or <laughs> is it just a cold? Hopefully it's, uh, obviously, hopefully it's not COVID, but yeah, like, Jesus. Um, yeah, I also hate that as well. I hate, I hate when you can't breathe out your nose. Cause I'm 100% a nose. I like to breathe out my nose. I hate breathing out of my mouth. And I hate when I get ill and, oh. Uh, and of course, I get this when my dad takes me off his health insurance. Oh, <laughs> my sinuses. So is this? I, it's just like one of those things that happens every now and then. Uh, then something that just sucks. It just happens. Uh, my sister's got a similar thing as well. She she has dodgy sinuses. Um, she's got she's got some special medicinal thing for it, like something she has to put up her nose and like you know puff it or whatever. But it's something that she gets prescribed. And I think she gets it every now and then. Uh, from the doctors, like from the uh, pharmacy, um, but yeah, she's uh, yeah, 
But yeah, my sinuses drain at least two to three times a year. Ooh. So, what, what, yeah, what do you mean by your sinuses started draining yesterday? What, what what does that mean? Like, what do you mean by draining? And hey, hi, X, how you doing? What do you mean? So, like, is in... I don't know what you mean by your sinuses drain. With my father's passing, the seat of the Archbishop lies vacant. And so, in accordance with canon law, I have assumed his responsibilities. He goes with his father's passing. He does know I killed him, right? I should stress that this is a temporary measure. It was never intended that the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights serve in this capacity indefinitely. Uh -huh. Quite the opposite. The statutes specify that I should surrender my powers as soon as a conclave of the senior clergy and the high houses have named a new archbishop. But in light of recent events, that would not seem appropriate. Hmm, yeah, okay. I confess I did not expect you to divulge quite so much quite so soon. The details of the archbishop's plans, perhaps, but the true origin of the war and all it entails? True. Hmm. Oh my head. It's a mess. It's a mess. I didn't actually check my hair before I went live. I too had concerns. But when the Warrior of Light is witnessed returning to the capital upon the back of a dragon, one's options are rather limited. We might have forced him into this position, Mayhap yeah. I could have concealed certain details, but for how long? And at what risk? Should the truth have come to light in the meantime, how would the people have viewed my silence? I mean, he does have a point. I think, to be honest, all too often you see it in um, in TV shows and movies where an a, where a um, a character stays silent about a topic that they shouldn't that you know uh, they should really have let people know about, and then um, obviously it comes out, and then oh, everyone's like, why were they silent? They must be guilty. So I, it's a really it's actually really refreshing to see it the other way around to see someone honest come out about it. Yeah, anyway, uh, it means my sinus cavities are clearing themselves out. That's weird. Sounds a bit weird to me, but yeah, fair enough. Um, anyway. After a thousand years of lies and secrecy, I could not well abuse their trust and hope to be believed. The time for deception has passed. Let's see how it goes then, all right. I only wish the people agreed. That some would deny the truth I had anticipated, but not this many. And among the few who acknowledged that my father had to be stopped, no small number question our methods. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. If they suspect a coup, it will not be long before some turn to violence. Okay, maybe it would have been better to be quiet then. <laughs> it has already begun, and that on both sides. Men and women of the cloth are being harassed in the streets. Some have even been assaulted in the broom. Hilda and her people have formed a watch to help us maintain order. But such measures will not prevent the unrest from spreading. For all our talk of peace, the people remain frightened and confused. For their sake, we must bring the Dragon Song War to a definitive end. Yeah, I agree. And we should be glad to help you, Sir Emmerich. But what precisely would you have us do? Question, good question. We wish to treat with the dragons of Annex Trine. To that end, I would trouble you for an escort and an introduction. Right. Annex Trine? You would speak with Vidofnir then? Sounds like it. There's only one small problem though. We must needs open a dialogue between our peoples. Acting as my representative, Lucia will extend an invitation to their leader that she might visit us here in Ishgard. The only problem with opening a dialogue with um Ooh Danger Dangerous Fear, thanks for following. Um there's only one problem with opening a dialogue between us and uh, Annex, uh, where, like, where, yeah, them, uh, the dragons. She's um, specifically bit of me is that our only mutual connection is dead. <laughs> well, she's um, still with us. I would, of course, have beseeched Isel's assistance yeah. in this matter. 
But as she is not, I must ask that you aid us in her stead. Will you do um, us this favor? I didn't really. Uh, I can give it a shot. <laughs> We can try, but I, I don't think. Um, <laughs> Thank you, my friends. I'm, I know. I know. I came back to Ishgard riding on the back of. Lucia, uh, I leave the rest to you. Midgard Tommer, but I'm not really the Dragon Whisperer. <laughs> I thought she. I, honestly, I thought she was going to hit him. Then, I thought she was going to go bang, block him. Oh. Okay, so it happens when the seasons change or the weather changes. In the wake Are you of the Archbishop's fall? The nation of Ishgard trembled, the faith of her people shaken to its very core. All right. Got a cut with Hang on. For a thousand years had they fought and died, certain of the justice of their cause, only to be told that their holy war was born of the sins of their forefathers. What then for those brave men and women, thus stripped of their righteousness but to despair, to deny the truth and decry its speakers? And what then for those whom they defamed but to hope on, to have faith in a brighter tomorrow? A tomorrow in which man and dragon might live together in harmony, then as distant as the very stars in the heavens. Stars. Oh. What's happened Yet here? while we dared to hope, deep within his lair, the enemy lay, gathering his strength. Ah, oh, it's Nidhogg's lair. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, there he is. Nidhogg. Now possessed of his two eyes and the body of the Azure Dragoon, prizes to which he had laid claim at the very hour of the hero's triumph. As desperately as we sought the solace of peace, the great worm craved the misery of war, nor was he alone in his misbegotten desire. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that went silent for a second, then that went good. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I uh, usually get it when it becomes autumn, winter, and spring, but I don't always get it this time of year. Always get it around winter and the end of spring. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, also, I have to send you something when I get to work. My iPad's on the other side of the room, and I don't feel like getting up to you. Ooh. That sounds exciting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, to what you've got to send me. Anyway, um, I mean, we we were having a discussion about medicine um, in that, and I forgot I had my spray too. Don't mind me. Just <laughs> right. I know little of these lands, and these dragons call uh, these dragons. Uh, I know little of the lands the dragons call home. This annex trine. Had you not agreed to escort me, the coming journey would seem a far more daunting prospect. I confess, I myself once shrugged at the thought of it. Yet even the longest journey begins with the first step, does it not? Ah, but ere we set forth, Sandbox and I must need to inform our comrade of our plans. Yeah, we never leave Tatara out of this. That's, uh, that's very honourable, isn't it? Of, uh, of our Lord. I'll be honest, if it was up to me, I probably would have just left. <laughs> very well, I shall see to my preparations. Then let's just go and bid farewell to Tataru, Sandbox. Let's do it. Yeah, I probably personally, I probably would have just uh, left both Alpha and and Tatari and just gone and done it. Oh, she's actually over here. I forgot. She's uh, he's getting smashed. No, she's searching for information. Tatari, have you found our friends? I know. I know we've had some luck with uh, with Ida and Paparimo, but I mean, have we had any luck since five minutes ago? <laughs> So, what was your secret meeting all about? I'm all ears. A diplomatic mission to Annex Trine, you say? Well, I suppose that does take precedence. 
But should your meeting with Vidofnir happen to end early, you might consider rendezvousing with, with the Stola in Idilshire. Id 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 should be there to receive our guest. Don't get me wrong, your meeting with the dragons is terribly important and everything, but this scholar just happens to be time permitting, as I said. We shall endeavour to join Ishtola, but if we cannot uh, if we cannot pray, press on our hearts on our regards, Jesus Christ. Oh Let us be off some bucks. We have kept the first commander waiting long enough. That's right, yes, there's a scholar we need to meet, and um we were gonna meet with them, like meet with them. Uh, and that's just I'm gonna be honest, I suspect we still will. Um, but yes, um, as Alphonor did say, time permitting, we do have other responsibilities. And unfortunately, searching for our friends just so happens to be on the bottom of the list, apparently. Not sure I'd put it right there, but you know. You are ready then? Good. So am I. Ooh, what do I want to eat? Um, hot chocolate sounds cool. Do you only get, only get the one? I do. That's a shame. Well, it means I won't drink. I won't. I won't drink it. I'm already thinking of chocolate. Uh, it just means I won't eat it or, or drink it. You know, is all. So, because I don't ever drink two separate things at once. Because I think you lose the uh, XP effect that you get. I'm just gonna go for chocolate. Um. Oh, I also <laughs> I also spent some time this morning completing a sec another book, a third book of the, uh, the Relic. I did the second book earlier on today. Well, no, 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 tell a lie. I had all but two dungeons to do. Oh, sorry. I had all but two dungeons completed on the second book. Uh, and then earlier on today, I finished those two dungeons and uh, ended up completing all but three dungeons in the third book. So, yes, three out of nine almost complete. Yeah. Alphanor. Well, Alphanor is ready to escort Lucia to Annex Shrine. The path is long but known to us. From Falcon's Nest, we shall cross the Western Highlands, make for Tailfeather in the Dravanian Forelands. There we can stop to rest and replenish our supplies. Questions? If not, then the stay was away. Just gonna teleport. Oh! <laughs> Alpha, bud, we. No, I just teleport that. Oh. Um. Yeah, so. Brit, have you heard from Strange recently? Um. Because I'm pretty sure he messaged me, like, well, no, he didn't mess he, he um, messaged in chat. Um, I don't know, like, what, Wednesday, I think, was the last day I heard from him. Because I don't think he, I don't think he messaged in chat Thursday. Yeah, no, I think it was Wednesday he um, put messaged in chat. Right at the, it was right at the end of the day. Um, I remember thinking it was weird because... Wednesday was the first, and it was the whole day off Twitch day. Uh, and I know Strange was taking part in that, so it was a bit weird seeing him in chat. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Um, but, no, yeah, you haven't even heard. Uh... Okay, I wonder if he's all right. I might, uh, I need to message him. I'm just gonna, there you go, just, just, let's just, just take a quick second just to message him. He's offline at the minute. Okay. Yeah. And do I say, hey, how are you? Yeah, it's a nice little message. So, uh, let's have a chat with Lucio. I know, um, obviously, he's still recovering, isn't he, from his um, his surgery, so it, it could be that he's had some appointments to go to, um, you know, or not so. Last thing I know, you posted in Discord on the third, seeing so many kitty pictures. Third was Friday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it was yesterday. Um, yeah, yesterday just um, one a.m. my time. Yeah, yeah. I know we do have a lot of kitty pictures. So I mean, hang on. 
No, that wouldn't have been in response to me saying um, on Thursday. Yeah, no, don't worry. I was wondering if that was him responding to me saying on Thursday that we had a ton of kitty pictures. Because I remember Hayek mentioned about dogs and we got into a topic about dogs and yeah. Anyway, um, do you know what? Before we move on to the next quest, I am just going to start our Stream Raiders battle because we need to get that kicked off. So start battle. So here we go. We're jumping into Stream Raiders. I'm not going to change the scene at all on stream. Uh, we'll be jumping into Stream Raiders in 30 minutes on stream. Um, however, I do need to just decide what am I placing. Oh, well, that's easy. Flag bearers. It's the only thing I've got uh, a quest for. Um... You can go there. There we go. Mark it all off. Boom. There we go. Our Stream Raiders battle is ready and uh, it's good to go. So, it's up to you guys to place units. There we go. I always imagined that the first time I set foot upon a Dra Dravanian soil would be at the head of an army. And here I am, ready to treat with the brothers and sisters of mine enemies. Well, all do I know. Full well do I know how difficult it can be to set aside the past, though it was I who first proposed recruiting your sail to our I questioned the wisdom of my words almost as soon as I had uttered them, and for a long time after that. Here was a woman with blood of innocence on her hands, men, women, children, all slain in the name of the implacable implac Lady Iceheart. Yet she acknowledged her misdeeds and agreed to join us in common cause. At our side she fought in service to the greater good, even unto her dying breath, and while that does not absolve her of her sins, I, I hope that one day she will be remembered not merely as a heretic, but as a misguided soul who dreamed of dreamt of peace. You ask much, Master Alphenord, yet who can say what might come to pass, should our negotiations bear fruit? Yeah, yes, yes, of course, of course. We must press on to Annex Trine, if you will follow me. Can I just teleport that down? There we go. Um, I just set up so I can get up and ready for work, and now I wish I didn't. Oh, I feel you there. Um, I was about to do something incredibly stupid. I was about to run up the stairs, and then I thought, no, you idiot. Fly. <laughs> I have a dragon. Uh, I have a uh, fly mount. Um... Second floor? Yes, second floor. Hola! You're gonna talk in dragon language? Be fun. No, you're not even gonna talk at all. Thou art ever welcome here, friend of your soul. But this one I know, I know, do not know. I was expecting, I was expecting not know. I, I know not of. Pray forgive us this unannounced visit to mid-afternoon. May I present to you Lucia, first commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, and our trusted friend. It is an honour to meet you, Vidafdi. I come as an I am come as an envoy of Sir Aemic, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and acting leader of the Holy See. Indeed, you may speak, Knight. For 1,000 years, men and dragons have looked, uh, been locked in an endless cycle of bloodshed and, error, bloodshed and sorrow. To our shame, we long believed your kin to be the architects of this war. But now we know the truth, that King Thordon and his Knights Twelve did willfully betray that and murder the great worm Ratatoskio, shattering the peace between our peoples. For 1,000 years, our leaders conspired to conceal this truth, a truth which was at least laid bare by the Warrior of Light. The, uh, the Azure Dragoon and you say. Alas, a deception so intricately wrought cannot be undone in a moment, and our people labour to accept the truth. After an eternity of war, who would dare to dream peace? To, uh, dream that peace could at last be within our grasp. Yet dream we must, as you say I once did, and we must make that dream a reality, as she could not. We humbly beseech you, Vidokni, join hands with us in friendship once more, before the eyes of my people in Ishgar. A most unexpected invitation. I have heard your request, Knight. However, I cannot yet give you mine answer. May I ask why? This matter concerneth my sire. He must needs be consulted. 
Moreover, the Gnap grow bold, even as they did before, and I would not leave my people at the mercy of the swarm. Ooh, we're going Gnap on him. Then we will wait. After a thousand years at war, we shall not give up on peace for want of patience. <laughs> Fear not, knight. Thou shalt have mine answer within thy lifetime. So soon? <laughs> my humble thanks. I shall bear your words to my lord forthwith, until we meet again. Anywho, I no longer have it. Oh, rip. That sucks. I take it he was just being too much of a you know what. Was he just being a twat? For lack, for lack, for lack of a more family friendly term, was he just being, you know, a, a twat? Given the circumstances, I would say that went rather well. To be frank, I am surprised our proposal was not rejected outright. Whether aught come will, or whether aught come will come of it remains to be seen. However. Mayhap I should take this opportunity to speak with some of the other dragons. Ah, but you need not wait for me. The return journey holds no fears for me now. Well, if you have no further need of our services, we shall continue on to Charlayan. We hope to welcome a scholar who has agreed to aid us in the search for our missing comrades. Then I pray your journey is as swift and uneventful as ours was. And thank you again for sparing the time to assist us, even when such grave matters remain unresolved. I can think of no grave matter... A uh, greater matter than a thousand year war, one of which, uh, one which our friends gave their lives to see ended. Oh, I clicked. Lovely. Okay. Of that, I have no doubt, Master Alphalord. I only hope the fates will not hold you to our word. Okay, I don't know what you said. I have no idea what you said. Uh, I told him I was done, was tired of being ghosted and feeling worthless. Yeah, no, exactly. I will yeah. Don't put up with it, you know. Did he at least tell you why, why he was being like, why he was being like that? Probably, probably not. Knowing the way you've described how he's been recently, he probably did. So, you know, that sucks. But yeah, you deserve someone. You definitely do deserve someone better. Somebody who's not going to ghost you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. You know, so, you know, it's gonna actually talk to you, you know. So, no, uh, exactly. Yeah, so he, he just. <laughs> but like I said, for a lack of a better word, twat is what he is. Oh, and yes, I would say that's that's family friendly. You say if you're in the UK, you can say that you can say that in on on uh, daytime TV. <laughs> anyway, so it seemed we have a. A t time to greet this scholar after all. How delightful. I should be interested to hear how she means to go about finding Linfilia and thank her. I can only assume she is privy to some new investigative technique. In any event, our first order of business is to rendezvous with Stolo in Idilashir. Fine light. And because we are incredibly meticulous about traveling as many Aetherite shards, Aetherites as we can, I can just teleport there. Because you know, I don't like walking around. Oh yeah, there's also uh, <laughs> there's also a ton of side quests, blue quests I need to do. Um, maybe. I mean, yeah, I want to do the fires of somehow because I think that's uh, somehow hard to unlock. Uh, don't know what that is. Uh, one of one of these four. One okay, either an unexpected proposal or striking off. I can check. No. Okay, and <laughs> yeah. An unexpected proposal. I'm pretty sure that. I'm starting to doubt it now. No, no, wait, hang on. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's an unexpected proposal that unlocks Gunbreaker. Maybe. I mean, it could even be this one down here. I know we unlocked it. Um, it was the first blue quest. It's not that guy. I know it was the first blue quest we unlocked in the area, but I can't remember which one it was. I, I'm, I think it was an unexpected proposal. 
I thought it might have been a striking opportunity, but I mean, it wasn't. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a chat with you, Stola. Hey. Ah, Sandbox, tis a good time to see you. I confess, I had assumed your business in, in Annex Trine would detain you longer. Did your meeting with Vidofna go well? Mm -hmm. As well as can be expected, she must discuss Sayomik's proposal with Prosfagar, of course, but she seemed am amenable to the situation. What of our Charlene guest? Has she arrived yet? She has, but when I explained to her uh, that you would be joining us, she asked if she might use the intervening time to explore. I agreed to meet her outside on Front Bridge. We should be on our way. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Not that fast, shall we? Oh, why can't I fly here? Oh. It's like the only place I can't fly. I can fly everywhere else. I'm not flying everywhere. Oh, I've also redone my UI, so now I've got my um, cast bar at the bottom right. The uh, action bars, it's in the um, hot bars or whatever they are. Action bars, whatever they're called. They are a lot, they're all now more tightly packed and further down. Uh, the menu is also more tightly packed. Voice scene. Oh, hey. Didn't I defeat you? <laughs> I'm terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She looks like um, one of the bosses in Halatali Hard. I swear I had to defeat this one for um, the relic weapon. Um, but anyway, all I know is I can be my lazy self again and not have to impress till I decide I want to be with anyone. This is going to sound really bad. Did you go out of your way to impress him before? It's probably going to sound really bad, but I don't go out of my way to impress my girlfriend. But I, are you sure? I like to treat her and, you know, take her out places and you know, treat her right, but I wouldn't say I, I necessarily go out of my way to impress. Hmm. Maybe I just find it easy. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Yes, we did. Pray. Allow me to introduce Kral, who has recently come from the Charlian motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Oh, another thing I did as well is I actually did Google it. It turns out Ustola is actually blind. She, uh, it was, it was hinted at um, when we met Matoya during the story um, towards the end of Heaven's Sword, and um, I mean they, they, they went about it a really weird way of describing it. But yeah, it turns out. Ishtola is full on blind. She cannot see. But she sees, like, with Aether. Please, it's weird. think nothing of it. A trip to Eorzea was long overdue. Like, the best way of explaining it would be, like, the Matrix, when Neo sees, like, when you know, when he can see the code and he sees all the, you know, that's the best way of explaining it. She sees Aether. Uh, I brought dresses to wear around him. I don't like getting all dressy, but I did uh, for him. I wore jeans instead of sweatpants. I don't like jeans. Oh, I don't like sweatpants. I prefer jeans. Although I haven't said that, I'm not a massive fan of jeans. <laughs> yeah. I don't like sweatpants, though. I don't know what it is about them. I like pyjama, like, bottoms. I just don't like sweatpants. Hmm. Not my cup of tea. You must be the warrior of light. Yes, you certainly do look the part. <laughs> a pleasure to meet you at last, miss. Hola. I do like wearing dresses, though. <laughs> don't be joking, I don't. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levy Yeur himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill more too in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? Ah, ah. Oh my god, that's funny. I know he's a young, young lady. Um, <clears throat> Miss Cryle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. Is it just me, or is literally every character we meet gonna like berate and and insult Alphanord? It's great. Uh, I go into the men's section at store so I can have sweats with pockets. Oh yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't live without pockets. Crazy. Yeah. I don't. I, I still. I, I know we had that no discussion, didn't we? Was no keeping him out of trouble. Believe you me, the youngest ever to enter the studio. Him and his sister, eleven-year-old prodigies. Yeah, no, we had this discussion, didn't we, a couple of days ago. Um, 
I don't understand why women's clothes don't have pockets. It's just... It's insane. I don't get it. They're so useful, pockets. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? Oh, well, what did he Thank say? Thank you, Cryo. Ah! <laughs> Oh my For what? god! I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? Oh, I I just love how every character we meet just insults. I love it. Picks on him. He gets bullied so much. Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. Ignore him. Tell us a story. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. <laughs> okay. Um... Right. On to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing scions. Sounds like a good idea. Um, he didn't want me to go to get another tattoo, so I hadn't got another tattoo because of him. He didn't like when I dyed my hair a colour that wasn't natural. So now I'm trying to decide what colour I want to do and what tattoo I want to get and where I want to put it. He sounded a bit controlling, didn't he? I think, yeah, we discussed that as well, hair colour. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I would be so tempted to dye my hair. I'll be honest. If my full-time job was streaming, I would be dyeing my hair. I'd dye my hair like purple, I'd dye it blue, I'd dye it red. <laughs> I'd love to dye my hair. I don't have any tattoos though, I'll be honest, those don't really interest me personally. But... I gather you have new information to share with us. Not to say I don't think they're cool. Like, I do think they're cool. They're just not for A me. New approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Oh, yeah. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Are you sure? Then what are you waiting for? Oh, what are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is, my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand... Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best that you explain your plan to her in person. <laughs> what you started saying is, I think you should be the one she shouts at. <laughs> oh, we're going to go see the legend that is Matoya. Please tell me that the two of them are going to like pick on uh, Alpenor together. That would be so good. That'd be so great. Oh, um, unfortunately, there is no teleport point between here and there, so I'm just going to fly it. Bit of a bummer, but you know. What's that? An overgrown ambition. That's probably to unlock a um, dungeon. Something, I'd, I'd be honest, something I find a bit annoying is, like, some of these blue quests, um, they themselves, because the point of a, of a blue quest is that it unlocks something, but the fact that a quest is a blue quest doesn't necessarily mean that that particular one unlocks something. It could be that it's the start of a quest chain, and at, at the end of, like, a, a ten quest long quest chain, you unlock something. So the whole quest chain is a blue, a blue quest. It's a little bit annoying, if I'm being honest. Um, for example, um, Sh Shades of Silda, the, this quest that I've had for like a month now, um, it's a blue quest. And it, on its own, doesn't unlock anything. Yeah, there is no unlock. It's just it's money. However, it's part of a quest chain that unlocks dungeons. There's several dungeons that are unlocked throughout the quest chain. Um... Hence why it's blue. So it's a little bit annoying because you're supposed to read the blue quest as unlock quests. It's just not all of them do unlock things on their own. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a chat with uh, with Kryle. 
You did say we were headed for a cave, did you not? Because I certainly don't see a cave nearby. Is Master Matoya meeting us on the way or something? Or... No? Do you not see it? I've heard so many stories of Master Matoya. Some quite flattering, other less, others less so. Rest assured, they are all true. This way, and have a hair where you tread. Are we going to trigger more of the, um... Yeah, we're going to trigger more. Um, something I do just want to check. Did I read that right? Oh, okay, max potions. I was going to say, are we going to be given potions? Max potions, that's make that makes sense. Here we go. Yeah. Here she is. It's always nice music when we enter the cave. This is nice. Oh, is that trouble I smell? <laughs> or did you forget to wipe your boots on the way in? Hi. Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. I'm not sure you should be mentioning your senses. Ever so quick-witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? She didn't out you, Stola. Okay. Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Kryle, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our order's headquarters and the Isle itself were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Kryl, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. Our order <laughs> is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will particularly through the study of her gift to us. Oh, she says it as if it's standard. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I had no idea. Neither did I. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand. But precautions had to be taken. Absolutely. Yes, yes, that's all well and good, but you still haven't told me why you're here. That's good, uh, yeah. The students of Baldessian are gone, and there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light, one you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. Oh, wait here. <laughs> oh. Long did I ponder the nature of this crystal and its familiar radiance. But never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. That's because you don't have the echo. I don't think. On the cusp of an umbral calamity, souls blessed with the power of the echo invariably appear. To aid these, her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. Oh, so that means Matoya has got the echo. But as her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those of this age. Oh! You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure, as are the risks inherent in its use. No two manifestations of the Echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size. 
Accepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul. Their intent, their very essence, even. The traces of which serve to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off and follow the remaining trail to Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Hmm. <laughs> Like, he's, he's like, you know, Alpha was like, all like, oh, go on. <laughs> well, the poor sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight, you may do with it what you will. Thank you, Master Matoya. Then let us begin. So this is a bit worrying, isn't it? Like, so Ishtola sent Thancred away. Where did Mephilia go? From the Black Shroud, the trail continues to the north and west, towards a mountain, the foot of Som Arl. We were there. Yeah, and I'm just wondering, like... I don't know, it's tricky. Where would not feel have gone? Didn't uh, Heidelin... I'm trying to remember, this was like a whole expansion ago. Didn't Heidelin say something to Minfelia? Because I remember thinking we had lost the power of the light by that point, hadn't we? Yeah, I I think we yeah we'd lost the power of the light. Anyway, it was a near thing, no. but he was not deposited within the rock. I think. I'm sorry. What? The hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. Sorry, did you say he wasn't deposited in the rock? As in, like he wasn't teleported inside the mountain itself? Are you saying that? that Jesus, she stole that. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game here. Anyway, uh, I just remembered I have to work first shift tomorrow. Apparently, I don't need sleep. Uh, well, yeah. Apparently so. Why would they do that? Do they, I mean, do they do that often? Why would they get you working first shift? That's just stupid. Right, I'm, I'm doing the wrong. I'm not even on the right quest. Jesus, Christ. I'm not keeping up with my um, my tracker. I know you can't see it on stream today. I've decided to hide it today just because it is a bit. Um... Yeah, no, it's, I've shown it off a few times now, and I it, what, my intention wasn't to actually have it up on stream all the time because it doesn't display properly. Um... Where am I going? Oh, outside Tailfeather. Oh, I might as well teleport. Yeah, my uh, intention wasn't to have it shown up on stream all the time, so I decided to leave it off today. Um, I'm just a bit slow in updating it. We are currently on quest 4 out of 25 of this particular portion of post-Heavensward content. However, as we learnt at the end of uh, Heavensward, um, the post-Heavensward content is split into two. We have Dragon Song and then post-Dragon Song. Dragon Song being 25 quests, post-Dragon Song being 19. So we are on 24 out of 25, or 4 out of 44, depending on how you want to look at it. Right, where I just find myself in an unfamiliar wilderness, my first instinct would be to seek out signs of civilization. Ordinarily, perhaps, but in this wilderness state, he may have not even uh, wished to risk contact with strangers of unknown allegiance. Yet even had Thancred uh, chose, chosen to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across his trail. Tailfeather doesn't strike me as an isolated outpost, though. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, do they not? In which case, we'll need to provide a more detailed description when we question the locals. Fear not, Cryo. I have already prepared several sketches of Thancred for that very purpose. Do we get to see the sketches? Can we see the sketches, please? Th this this is impressive. You drew him from memory? I mean, I couldn't remember him. <laughs> I remember what he looks like. A skill I acquired some years ago for reasons I no longer remember. 
That's amazing backstory. That is that's brilliant. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I propose we split into two pairs. You Stola and I will inquire at the outlying encampment while Sunbuck's and Trial question the residents of Tailford. Afterwards, we shall regroup at uh, near Loth Asva and share our findings. Assuming there are no objections, let us be about it. Okay. Uh, I prefer first shift, but they give me the swing shifts every other weekend, and tomorrow's the use, uh, usual first shift uh, has off because it's a holiday, and I've requested three days off this month, so I have to have said shift. Uh, I see. All right, then. Well, we're uh, going to finish this little piece of dialogue, and then we're going to jump into this battle. Right. My, he certainly is matured, isn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy. He practiced drawing for hours to impress on ladies. Ah, there we go. That's the backstory. I love it. Anyway, we'd best get started. Find me when you finish making your rounds. Do you know what, Kryle? I quite like you. Specifically, I like the way you pick on <laughs> pick on um, Alpha Lord. Right, yeah, so we're going to do the battle. I'm just going to walk over here and ready and battle time. Right. Oh, is that going to play ball? There we go. Here we go. We're all here. Let's go. We're going to stick that down there. And we're going to start battle. We destroy the rats. They are smashing it, Jesus. There we go. Oh, there's rocks. I didn't see the rocks. I thought, what's going on? I swear I can hear horns. Here we go. I think, I think we've got this. At full health, no less. It's just, yeah. I mean, what are these things? Bloodlust vampire and an epic zamp vampire. Saw it. There we go. The rocks do blend in. Yeah, genuinely, I didn't see them. I was like, why is everyone still moving about? We won. And we, we, yeah, we'd won anyway. Anyway, everyone's getting seven gold. Awesome. Some, well, two people are going to get like 50 gold each. It's Britain. It's. It's Brit and it's Ed to Dark Darkens. So, yeah, Dark Darkens. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> awesome stuff. Let me just quickly check my chest. Oh, my uh, quest. Noise. A portal's flag bearer skin. Okay. And that, sorry, that's just replaced itself with another massive quest. I am not completing that before the end of the event. <laughs> Uh, all right, skins. Um, equip. It's a flag bearer. There we go. Boom. And what's great is I'm gonna I get to show it off again, like now. Right. Let's go there. Because I've got a flag bearer request. Nice. Sorted. Right then, back to Final Fantasy. Let us go. Searching for a friend of yours. Let's have a look then. Here we go. Apparently I can't see it. Maybe I can actually. It's in my uh, items. Let me use it. Hmm. No, I ain't seen him around. Sorry. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, can I... Oh, no, I can only link it. Nah, you're right. But, like, is there really... Is that here? Bummer. I was really hoping to see Alpha North sketch. Oh, well. Am I talking to inside this building? I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, it's it's Mar 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 hmm. What's that you got going there? There then, a sketch. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> Can't say I know the face. You say he's something to warrior. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. I heard a tale the other day about a high ruin, a ruined vagabond who brought down a bandersnatch by himself and was smart as a style. Why they tell it, he was dancing with the beast like it was the bell of the billion bull. Sounded like your man. Does it sound like your man? Yeah, a little bit. 
Interesting. Could be some random fellow though. What is that? There's a little chocobo chick running around in an eggshell. What is going on? So cute. It almost makes me want to bring my one out. Hi, Grandma. All right, hi, room man. Hmm. Well, not exactly rare, you know. <laughs> Could you be a bit more specific? What? I did spy this one bloke a while back. Didn't get a good look at his face, but could have been him. This was beyond the forest, as I recall, along the river, to the west of the tail feather. I remember thinking he wasn't much of a hunter. The lad was making no effort to cover his traps, see? That and he was carrying an axe instead of a bow. Ooh. Uh, so when I get to work, I also have a story to tell that happened Friday night at work. I made a full lobby of people laugh. Now I want to hear the story. <laughs> oh, I got to meet with a uh, cry. There's me. There's me running off to go to the end of the river or whatever. Anyway, finished. In that case, I think we've learned everything we can here. Let's see what the others have found out. Yeah, let's all go meet up. That's a good idea, actually. We'll collect as much information as possible. Um. We're gonna go meet in the smoldering wastes. Interesting, okay. That's right, it's uh, by the bath, isn't it? Bath being around there. This is literally where, um, where were you caught by the van? Oh. Uh, just to let your mind wander about, it involves a Karen. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, Karens. My apologies for our late arrival. We thought it was wise to question as many hunters as we could. No worries. It's all good, Apple. It's good, all good. Many have made camp in accessible, inaccessible locations. Ideal for hunting game. Not so receiving vis visitors. Nevertheless, our times proved well spent. There have been countless sightings of an exceptionally capable Hyuran hunter with whom no one is familiar. Though none chance to see the man's face, his height and build match Stanford's description, as does his fighting prowess. But he wields an axe. So you have heard the same tales. Be as it may, we may yet want for conclusive proof. Mayhap this is unrelated, but I heard a curious tale regarding a Vath trader. He came to Tailfeather in search of garments fit for a man of refinement, which seemed a rather curious description for one of his kind. You are implying that Thancred sent a bath to mark his st uh, market in his stead? Why would he not go himself? Obviously to hide. Well, if you recall, you yourself emerged from the live stream as naked as your name day. It is a scene I shall never forget. Oh, I'm sure you'll never forget it. it, it is it now? Uh, well, well I, I was pleased to see you. I mean, I mean, it was a simple statement of fact. It stands to reason that Thancred found himself in the same predicament. In any case, if he has de uh, dealings with the VAT, they should be able to tell us, no? Yeah, yeah. Quite right, Kral. Quite right. Yes, yes. Right, we're going to go for the map. Oh, I get them both. Awesome. I'm going to sell the uh, the the ether though. Who uses ether? Who uses mana? <laughs> right, a little slow, a little late. Oh no. Let me check something. Did I see that right? No. Okay, we're all right. We're fine. We're fine. We're all right. I was going to say I just spotted something, and I wasn't, I wasn't sure about that. I saw um, what was his name? The primal, the rat primal. I saw it in the uh, the little image, and I was like, oh no, not again. No, we're all right then. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? For all we know, Thancred could be waiting for us in Lothbath Vath. We must go and see the Vath right away. Come along, everyone. Come along. 
All right, I found this guy. Right, we're gonna go have a chat with these guys, I think. Hola. Great hunters, we welcome you once more to Lost Asphalt. Lost Asphalt. What do you see this day? We seek a man, a man with whom we were we are told you may have had certain dealings. How curious! The hunters tire of godly sport and pursue mortal prey. No, 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 he's not prey, but a friend long missing. Good, good, he's a friend to the bath as well. One with whom we have traded many times. Truly, and you are quite certain that it was this man? There is no doubt. The fleshling clothed in skins came to us from some owl, lost and weak. He offered meat and hides in trade, and in exchange we tended his wounds. He brought us much flesh. So skilled a hunter he was. Much flesh. When he asked for garments, we were glad to provide them. And, and where is he now? Gone to Lost Aft Naft not long ago, when, we, uh, when he heard the one mind of summon a god once more. R Rivana has returned? Bidofnor did say the Naf had grown as before, but what could Thangrid hope to accomplish by himself? Honoured Elder, we thank you for your help. Would that we could repay this kindness ere we depart, but we must hate to our comrade's side. Go, great hunters, lest the Naf claim him as a sacrifice. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> he's probably gone to do what we did. Oh, Thangrid, you fool! They haven't said that we pulled it off soon. Why couldn't they? Well, they haven't even said that. You sail. Um, but Thancred doesn't have the echo, does he? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Thancred doesn't have the echo. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. I, j I don't know who does and doesn't anymore. I didn't think Ustela or an Alphanor did. Um, they probably don't. To my understanding, it was only us and Mimphelia. That's all I thought had the echo. In which case, Stankwood going to to fight um, Ravana is it just seems silly. It seems so stupid. Oh, uh, are you? Oh, and now I just need to go here. Oh, are you fighting the, the level 60s? No, you're fighting something else. <laughs> We're going to see Thank with them for like the first time in like a whole expansion. Who else it's been be? a while. Thancred. It could be Thancred. We must hurry. No! Oh, wait. Yeah! Hold on a sec. Yeah, um... GG. That's not Thancred. He is, however. What was his name? The one who was on the moon with uh, Elidibus. I forget, I forget who he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was like the last cutscene of the expansion. <laughs> so who are the rest? Oh! Uh-oh. Hey, what's going on? This day, we reclaim the reins of history. This day, we rid ourselves of the Asians forever. Mm -hmm. Fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? <laughs> I'm sorry. I... 
That sounds like the same voice actor that plays um, Aomuk. Um, oh, Emmerich, whatever his name is. <laughs> we can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not! Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that sounds like the exact same voice actor that plays um, Aomit. So you are the warrior of light, the savior of Eorzea. Yes. Who are you? I mean, I remember you had some big dealings with Leaderburst. I forget what his name is. It's a wonder you didn't come sooner. What with the primal and all. Lost a step, have we? I mean, apparently, okay. yeah. The ether moves strangely around him. Interesting. It would seem we share a common enemy. Mayhap you would tell us who you are. Yes, please. Shall we show them? We're getting into a fight. All right, then let's go. I'm happy to fight. That's a weird look. Oh! Is it who you think he is? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, hold up a second, what? Who? Oh, he's got the ta- that, no! What's he wearing? <laughs> Um... <laughs> Not very sporting of you to interrupt, but so be it. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm thinking that Stankard. I mean, he's wearing some weird stuff, but yeah. Um. Mark well our faces, warrior of light, for we are the warriors of darkness, walkers of a different path, and we shall meet again. I can't believe the only the only person that's thinking like, uh, what is it? The Knights of Ren from uh, Star Wars. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, you, uh, what are you doing? Teleporting away? Chickens! I went over yet. Warriors of Darkness. Really? Yeah, I'm about to be now. I remember. I remember the discussion he had with. Uh, uh, I need a bit, yeah. Hey, bud. You look a bit different. Thank you. I said that. Are you all right? Has been a whole expansion. <laughs> so, no surprise he looks a bit different. Oh, weapon, though, Jesus. Are you, um. Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? Place his voice actor, which is pretty standard. Happens to everyone. Um, I wonder if he's gone blind. I wonder if that's what the eye patch is, the, the, uh, the whole things are all about. Weird. Um, yeah, it's Sankrid. Okay. Um, just quickly, let me check something. You're right. Let me just. 
He's not blind. At least he doesn't look. He hasn't got, got like the cataract in his eyes like you stole that. Um, hmm. Interesting. Suffice it to say, our reunion was not at all as I pictured it. <laughs> Waiting until the last instant to join the fray. Tis plain you have not lost your appetite for the dramatic. My appetite for the dramatic? Have you forgotten the circumstances of our parting? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Oh, had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, <laughs> I would have thanked you in advance. Thank Rid. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would emerge from the live stream in the altogether. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found and set about hunting for meat and hides. Dude, you don't tell me. <laughs> when did you get clothes? Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. Uh huh. So you were the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke. A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. Happily, I was able to trade with the Vath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. Right. Who did thank, uh, who did um, Alcor think it was? From them, I learned of Ravana and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. Us. And I'm assuming it means first time. Conclude that were you to track the primal's movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the scions once more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he he heard about our first scrap with Ravana. Okay. It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods, until now, that is. Ah, yes, the self-proclaimed warriors of darkness. It is only fitting that they stand in opposition to the Warrior of Light, I suppose. See, the one thing I would like to say is they're a bit cheeky because there's five of them. Just saying a light part is only four. I glimpsed the leaders past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I think. Oh, you saw it too? I guess that confirms these it then. warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and Primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. So I I am pretty convinced now that I I don't think um Tancred, Alphanord, or Estola have the Echo. I think it is just me, um and Minfilia. And and the little uh, trial. Uh, all right, so Friday I had three different wedding parties check in. One of the bride's parents came to check in, and when I put in their confirmation number, the reservation was for Saturday night only. Told them that, and the mother went off on me, saying that she had called and made the reservation for Friday and Saturday night. Oh, yeah? Uh, I let them know that I had no control over the wedding block, so if they wanted a room for Friday night, they'd have to pay the rate for that night instead of the wedding block rate. Her husband started in on me as well at that point, telling me it's complete BS, they have to pay the full price and not the price they were quoted. Right. Right, blessed with the power of the Echo, and driven to put down primals, despite his declaration that they walk a different path, I struggle to see how their goals conflict with ours. Nor is that the only oddity. I find it passing strange that such exceptional individuals should have wholly escaped our notice until now. Surely we would have heard rumours and attempted to recruit them to our cause. I recall no such adventurers, and I would not soon forget their like, nor would any of us, I think. One of our primary duties was to scour the city-states for promising candidates, which is how Thancred found Sunbucks. Ah, the memories. It seems like only yesterday that you slew your first primal. Speaking of which... I had the distinct impression that it was not the first time that band of merry men and women had killed a god. 
I'm able to believe that a band of preternally, preternaturally gifted adventurers has been traveling the land, slaying crime without our knowledge. It would imply gross negligence on our part. On our part, speculation will avail us naught. There is far too much we don't know. Hmm. For the present, we must needs concentrate on what we do know, namely that Lord Ravana is no more. Bidofnir must be informed. The news may render her more receptive to Sir Eremit's invitation. Since you seem to have affairs here well in, uh, well in hand, I shall take my leave. Simply being in the vicinity of this colony has given me a stinking headache. If you have no need of me, uh, I, if you have need of me, I will be with Master Matoya. I would beg her assistance with the search for Minfilia. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Wait, Minfilia is missing? I thought she escaped with some bucks. Mm, no. I should explain on the road. Much as it happened in your absence. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Tangled. You missed a lot. Um, so to make them happy, I called my manager and she told me that they have to pay the rate for Friday night and not the wedding block rate. Yeah, I told them that again and that I had just confirmed from my manager and that's what I was to do. Uh, father tells me to give give him my manager's number and all their information. They both go outside to talk after I tell them I can't give my manager's personal information out to guests. They come back in after I check the people in who are behind me, uh, behind them, I'm guessing they get a room. Oh no, I think I know where this is going. Uh, the mother keeps telling me your employee Alex made our reservation. I want to speak to Alex. I think I know where this is going. And this is where I was, Oh, you snapped. Oh. You snapped. This isn't where it's going. This isn't going where I thought it was going. I thought you was going to say something like, you know, they'd gone outside and more pe people behind them had booked rooms. And then by the time they come back in, there's no room. I thought that's where you was going. But, well, yeah, go on. You snapped. Go on. What did you say? Alright, let's have a chat with Vidolf near We've got six minutes until our battle. Make sure everyone's placing units. I had not thought to see thee again so soon, mortal. If thou seekest the night, know that she hath long since departed for Ishgar. My thanks, Fidokmir, but it was not for her we came. We bring good tidings for you and yours. Lord Ravana, who had been summoned by the Nath, has again been laid low. Truly? Once more, you mortals have succeeded where mine own kind did fail. You have our deepest thanks. Would that we could take credit. The god fell by another's hand. Alpha, no! Shut up! <sighs> another? Revelation upon revelation. Regardless, it is cause for celebration. The Nath will have no choice but to withdraw. But to another matter, I have tidings for thee as well. Regarding the Ishvar Isgardian's invitation. As promised, I brought the matter to my sire. Hearken to his answer now. For a thousand years I have mourned my beloved, who gave her life to forge a peace thy king betrayed. Such was my lot until a child of Ishgar came upon me. For want of warmth, she wrapped herself in a dream. Yet the world will remember her deeds. For truth she fought, for justice she sinned. For redemption she sacrificed and became as light. To follow one heart, one's heart, to have faith in one's convictions, be it for weal or for it for woe. Such is to follow in the glory of man and of dragon. He hath entrusted the choice to us, and we have made it. We will keep faith with you and who walk in the light with you who walk in the light. Then you accept Sir Amic's invitation. Let it be known that I, Vidofnir, shall journey unto Ishgard on behalf of my people. We are honoured to receive your answer. We'll convey your words to our allies without delay. Awesome! Sweet! I'm happy with that. It is happening, Asael. Would that you were here to see it. Aww. I think Alphonne really took a liking to you, Asael. Here we go, back at Ishgarn. Oh, is that Mick? Even as the Scion celebrated the return of a long-lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another.
honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero, but a scheming patricide. Oh, shoot! Uh-oh. Honorable men, who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Honorable men, whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame, and who sang as it burned. Shoot, no! Oh, I liked him! <laughs> He's not gonna die. No, I refuse to believe he's dead. Although, admittedly, having said that, um, I have not seen him in any cutscenes with Strange, which makes me think that maybe he might be dead. Ooh. Right, so their son was behind him as I went off. When they went to the elevator, he told me he wished he recorded that because he wanted to show it to his sister. So I came down with their fiance's mum about 10 minutes after I uh, cleared my lobby and then apologised profusely for the bride's mother yelling at me and going all Karen on me. All oh, right. So what was the outcome then? I, I Did they end up staying for that extra night or like on, on the regular rate or did they not? Did they find somewhere else? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right, we've got to get through this uh, story real quick because we're only six out of 44 and I can't actually be streaming for the regular five hours today. Or do I work tomorrow? We go. Right, let us not keep Sir Aim waiting. Oh. Are you quite well, Thancred? Yes, yes, quite well. Forgive me. You've given me rather a lot to digest. This whole affair with these guardians of the Dravanians, and, uh, and our friends nowhere to be found. So it seems there's no end to our troubles. We can but face them head on, one at a time. For now, we must apply ourselves to our allotted tasks and leave the others to theirs. Remember, Thancred, we found you, and as they found me. In time, we will find Yuda, Yuda Kapuruma, and Minfilia as well. These troubles will soon be, but, 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 soon be but a memory, one which we will look on back together. Pray do not misunderstand. I did not mean to imply that it would be otherwise. I merely wished that I had rejoined our grand adventure at one of its more triumphal moments. Despite your recent accomplishments, the mood in here is less than celebratory. I have but no doubt that we will enjoy many more glorious victories soon enough, and you may rest assured that I will play my part in them as to the very hilt. Nice. I know you will. So then, to, con to the congregation. Um, right, so they stayed Saturday night and under the rate they had booked for, so the wedding block rate. Did I miss you reading my longer message with what I said to the mother and father of the bride? Did you send it? All you said about all I can read is uh, all the bit. All I sing on a sec. Uh, yeah, no. All I see. Yeah, no, all, all, I, all I've got here is uh, that you told them that you can't give them your manager's number. Why? What, what, what? No, they... <laughs> so, uh, so it, yeah, no, Twitch didn't send it through. So the only part is, is like, and this is where I snapped, and then you said their son was behind them as I went off. Um... So I have no idea what you what you said to him when you snapped. So when, where you say they only stayed like they stayed Saturday night under the rate which I had booked for, so I'm assuming they didn't stay Friday night. Where did they stay? That's what I want to know. I mean, obviously they wouldn't probably wouldn't have told you, but I'd love to know where they stayed. <laughs> Send it through Discord. Oh, okay. Oh, you sent. Oh. I also just saw what else she sent me. Very nice. <laughs> um.
Wow. Fair enough for it. Yeah, I just read it. <laughs> uh, they stay Friday night at the rate of Friday night. Oh, okay, yeah. So they did stay on Friday just at the regular rate, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, uh, yeah, fair. Well, hmm. So who's Alex? I wonder if that's what they... I wonder if they just said that, like... Oh, I don't know how how common Alex is. You've returned. In this, uh, at least, the fates are kind. Greetings, First Commander. It pleases me to inform you that Vilfnir has accepted Sir Amic's invitation. She has? These are glad tidings indeed. Oh, God, yeah. I've, I've, it's only just happened. I've already forgotten. Right. Would that the Lord Commander were here to hear them. Ah, is he otherwise engaged? Aye, sleeping off a knife to the gut. What? What What happened? Would he live? The Shurgans tell me he will make a full recovery, but had Lord Edmund and Lord Arteria not been on hand when the assassin struck, he would not have been so fortunate. For a mercy, they, had, they subdued the fiend before he could land the, land the telling blow. The attack was just a bleeding beginning, though. Not long after, buildings all around the city, including several ours, burst into flame. Bastards caught us completely by surprise. We'd been doused in the flames, but for everyone we put out, it seems like two more start up. Casualties are mounting, especially in the broom. It is plain these fires were started by the assassin's conspirators. Until they have been rounded up, there will be no end to this. Will you help us find them? Absolutely, we will. Then let us be about it. Against the Dying of the Light is the next quest. Uh, I had a long fri night Friday and I was ticked. Ooh. Don't blame you. Oh. What? Okay, apparently I'm going to be getting some accessories. Awesome. Hmm. Right, let's deal with this then. Oh, the battle's ready. My bad. I will... Do the battle right after this cutscene. Um, right. The flames are spreading. We must needs begin our investigation immediately. Witnesses must be found. Suspects must be identified. Have you been able to determine the precise locations where the fires were set? Mayhap there is a path. If there is, we have yet to discern it. Fires have been reported throughout the city in both the pillars and foundation. Indeed, given the size of the area affected, I think it's best to devise our forces. Master Alphanor, the Mistress Eustola, I would have you take charge of the investigation and foundation. Yes, yes. As you wish, mayhap Tataru can be of assistance as well. Meaning Sunbucks and me get the pillars. Oh, they'll light me up there. And my only question is, will the grizzled old road strike and oppose over there be joining us? Dancred of the signs of the seventh door. And may I say what a pleasure it is to meet you too, my lady. I'll bet the name's Ilda, a scion, eh? And there was a, I, I was thinking I'd found a fellow ruffian amongst all these illustrious, illustrious pay personages. I will remain here to coordinate the fire quenching effort. If you learn all to value, pray inform me immediately. That is all. That is all. Here we go. Um. While we could begin by sifting through charred rubble and questioning random passers-by, in my experience, every town has at least one individual who can be counted on to know things he or she should not. Yes. Oh, aye. The infamous Lord and Marilyn de Fortemps, lover of women and wine. Though neither care for him that much. They say he could gossip for Ishgard. Yeah, true, true. Just the sort of fellow I had in mind. Capital suggestion some of me. Oh, no. Okay, she was just, yeah, commenting on what I was saying. Okay. He'll be at the Croizier, most like, making an effort to be seen. So let's go and see him. Ooh. Grizzled? I'll accept, I will accept, but oh. Mm -hmm. Poor thing, Grid. Uh, so yeah, also, Purple Guy was creeping me out as I was adding colour, so I had to hide its eyes while adding the main colour. <laughs> it's creeping you out, what do you mean? It's supposed to be a cute thing, you know? <laughs> supposed to be cute. <laughs> oh. Anyway, 
Like I said, battle time. Right, I love when rule huddles up because it means the spell just goes right there. Stop now. Hey, Brit, you killed the gold coin and the rat. Jesus. Who's going to kill the frogs? Ooh, the Macorium killed the toad. Who's going to kill the other one? And who's going to get the other two coins? What was that? And uh, Necronix killed the other toad. What was that bottle? That was interesting. I love how I'm healing everyone, it's great. It's, uh, we, we know the epic vampire is going to get the coin. There we go. Noise. Yeah, I'd love to know what that poison thing is. Anyway, victory, obviously. Everyone gets six gold. Someone's going to get one Buster Scroll. It's the McCorium. McCorum. Yeah. Awesome. Quest, make sure you're turning quests in. So, I've got to do three more flag bearers. Here we go. Um, it really doesn't matter which route we go down, but I know that every time we pick the worm, we get like 50 million worms. So we're going to go toads. Um, okay, it's not terrible. Okay, let's get back into... Oh, why didn't it... No, oh, you're supposed to switch. My, uh, my stream deck didn't switch. There we go. We're back into Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, he's cute until you're staring at him for a good hour adding colour and his eyes look lifeless. It felt like he was going to attack myself. Oh, that's, that actually sounds quite cool, to be honest. <laughs> the fact that he was going to, like, tear into your soul. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, his eyes are a bit lifeless, aren't they? Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Well. Fair enough. Uh, he's at the Jeweled Crozier. We need to have a chat with the Manor Lane, because he, he is the... Apparently the Womanizer. I'm not sure about that. I'm not quite sure I'd call him a Womanizer. Repulsive is more like what I'd say. <laughs> Alright then, Manor Lane, how you doing? Well, 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 if it isn't Sunbugs, dearest of all my friends, you're looking rather glum. Something the matter, old girl? Ah, oh, yes, the arsons. Dreadful business, that. And oh, awfully curious, wouldn't you say? There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it at all. Naturally, we doubled the guard outside the map, along with most of the other houses. Can't have the old pile going up in flames, after all. Oh, and in case you were wondering why the Hoplon is always awash with refugees, the lower levels of the vault have been opened to those unfortunate souls who have lost their homes. Sir Aemix orders, from what I hear. Remarkable man, not even a knife in the ribs can keep him from his duties. Actually, old girl, if you were thinking of questioning the refugees, I should be more than happy to accompany you to the Hoplon. While you conduct your inquiries, I would offer words of comfort to the distressed and despondent young maidens. Wait a moment, I know what that is. You're giving me one of your looks, aren't you? You do me an injustice, old girl. I would have you know my heart yearns for but one rose, prickly though she may be. Oh, is that, um... Bugger, I forget her name. The one on the cloud top. I think it's the cloud top one. I sent you remain unconvinced. Very well. If it will help to prove the purity of my intentions, I shall gracefully rescind my offer. Now run along and catch those arsonists. Oh, thanks, Madeline. That was not entirely what I'd hoped for. Whose idea was it to come here again? <laughs> Mine, apparently. Never mind. For our next step, I suggest we divide our efforts. While you question the refugees in the Hoplon Sunbucks, I shall investigate the locations where the fires were set. Would you be so good as to join me, Hilda? You know what? I reckon I would. Can't have you roaming about in an unfamiliar city by your lonesome, can we? 
You'd only get robbed blind and left shivering in your small clothes. We know he's comfortable with that, so that's fine. Uh, I only spent an hour with colour because I was up and down because of work. No worries for it, that's alright. I mean, it looks colourful enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so, uh, oh, hey, Michael Hall. I'm a new player to Final Fantasy. I was wondering how do I turn on the NPC voices when I talk to them so the world doesn't feel dead? Ah, oh, you can't, unfortunately. It's uh, so, uh, the only certain cutscenes are voiced, which kind of sucks. It would have been so much better if they'd done, like, voices throughout the whole thing, but I think it get, you get a lot more voices in the later expansions. Like, in the base game, Around Reborn, it's, yeah, there's barely any voice cutscenes. Um... It becomes a lot more common towards the end, though. Towards the end of each expansion, you get, like, more voices. Which is funny, I guess. Uh, where am I going? Cathedral. Got it. But yeah, it is, it is a little bit dead, yeah. Hence why I'm having to do the voices for all these, uh, for these dialogue boxes. <laughs> I'll be honest, I would be lying if I said when I play it off stream, I don't spam click through it all. Just saying. Voice scene? No, not a voice scene. Come, my brothers and sisters, there is food and shelter enough for all in the Basilia. Alone's blessing be upon your father. I confess we were not sure if we should come. There are so many unbelievable tales these days about the Archbishops and Soamic and the Javanians. Trust in your heart, brother, and pray no heed to the lives of lesser men. They seek only to lead you astray. Do you require succor as well, miss? No, I require you to shut up and stop lying. <laughs> So the Temple Knights have begun their investigation at last. Good! This madness has gone on far too long. Would that I could do something to aid in your search, but I have a duty to these poor souls. Farewell, and may the Fury guide your steps. Mm. Okay, well. Ciao, Father, I guess. Um. Okay, thanks. I didn't know if it was like a setting I was in. No. No, I wish it was. I wish there was a second you could turn on that made the voices more common. You just, you just every time you see a cutscene, you just have to hope that it's voiced. <laughs> but it, like I said, it becomes a bit more common towards the end of Around Reborn, and then throughout Heaven Sword, there are more voice. It, it becomes a bit more common throughout the rest of Heaven Sword, and then again towards the end of Heaven Sword, like pretty much almost every uh, cutscene is voiced. Um, and now, unfortunately, I'm in post Heaven Sword content where it's it's uh, seems to be a lot less voiced. But oh well. But anywho, I forgot to grab my ibuprofen for my sinus headaches. I get, um, but I remember to grab my sinus pills so I can breathe something normally. Pros and cons, silver lining, and all you know. Um, but fair enough for it. Yeah, no, to be honest with you, those actually look really cool. Um, I <laughs> I don't know what I. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else for me to to comment on. I think it's, they look really. I, look, I think it looks cute. I think the purple one looks cute, and the uh, the, the the green one is, yeah, <laughs> it's cool as well. Although, like the green one was like the green. I was going to say the green one doesn't look cute, but then it was never intended to look cute. It, the green, there's two different emotions there. The purple one's cute. Like, oh my god, I love it. It's even got a little smile as well. I will admit, when I sent you the, the reference pic for the uh, the purple one, when I look at it now, I can kind of see the smile, but I didn't actually send it to you thinking there was a smile there. But then when I see your one, it's got this cute little smile. It's so cool. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with those, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, Britt, if you want to uh, if you want to send me your payment details, as in how to, you know, your email or whatever, do you take PayPal? <laughs> Yeah, send me uh, however you feel best with the uh, you want me to pay you, and then how much you, how much you know you want, and then I'll uh, I'll send it over. And once you've uh, confirmed you've received the money, send over the the non watermarked versions, and then I'll go ahead and upload them as emotes. Right, let's have a chat with Miel. 
there was a man with a satchel. I saw him kneeling outside the window, and then there was smoke everywhere, and it was so hot, and I couldn't breathe. I don't remember how I got out. I suppose I must have climbed. Maybe my arm is getting better after all. These blue quests, Sky Pirates and Gods of Eld. Ah, Gods of Eld's probably going to be the... Actually, we've done a few uh, primals since getting to Ishgard. I mean, Gods of Eld's likely going to be starting off the hard primal. Actually, no, 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 I say hard. Both of these were hard. Oh, I wonder if they're going. To, they're going to, going to be the. I wonder if they're going to give me the extreme um, things. Maybe. I will send the information after I start work. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yars was one of the first homes to be claimed, but I didn't see how the fire began. It was only when I heard our neighbours shouting that I looked outside and saw the flames. We barely escaped with the clothes on our back. Were it not for the church's generosity, I don't know what we'd do. Uh huh. Well, I mean, I will say this. Um, everyone we spoke to has been absolutely useless at telling us who's done this. I mean, no, having said that, no, having said that, the little girl, she gave us a little bit of information. But all of the adults have been absolutely useless. Just saying. Go on, Danko. Do you have any better luck? Ah, there you are. Anything to share? Yes, actually. That's Hmm. We will require more than muddled testimony of a traumatized girl if we are to identify the culprit. See what I mean? The girl is like the only one. While you were questioning the refugees, we inspected the scenes of several of the fires, including one near St. Roman's Cathedral and another near the tribunal. For a mercy, neither structure su suffered significant damage. Some might say they were spared by the grace of the fury. Others might question su how su such ruthlessly efficient arsonists contrived to fail so miserably on the two occasions when their target was a bastion of his garden of thought. Yeah, I will be honest. Um, when we spoke to the priest, I did suspect that maybe, just maybe, the church may be, uh, you know, part of this conspiracy. It, it, making you wonder a bit, isn't it? Nothing conclusive, of course, but it does give one cause to wonder. Alpha Lord will doubtless have an opinion. Oh, he has an opinion about everything. That kid, Jesus Christ. Alright. Why have I still got my menu out? Right. Oh, this this crystal's up. Oh, it's there. I was going to say, don't tell me the crystal's on the bridge. Or up above. That would suck. Um, I don't actually know where I'm going. Uh, broom. Broom works. Rendezvous with Alphanord. It's a little bit worrying that I don't get given a specific location. It makes me think that we're going to get into a fight. Or that there's a captive. Alphanord, what did you do? Also, is our... No, our battle's not ready yet. It's all good. Silence will avail you, avail you naught, sir. Ah, Sunbucks, I was about to summon you. As you can see, we have detained a suspect. We found this man loitering near the remains of one of the stricken buildings. According to eyewitnesses, he was also present before the fires broke out. We wished to have words. He did not, so we insisted. Let me go, damn it! You got the wrong man! Oh, 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 thank you. What are you doing? My, but you reek of oil. And are those burns on your hands? An occupational hazard, I suppose. But tell me, does arson pay well? I, I'm a victim, you imbecile. Look at me. <laughs> Aye, that you are, after a fashion. You should know that your pl pious patron has already spun us a delightful yarn about how his pet mongrel slipped the leash and set about burning half the city to the ground. Not a very noble of him, I grant you, but then these highborn types rarely do show loyalty to their pets. In fact, he called you a rabid and begged us to put you down. That, that's bollocks! He's the one who told, who, who told me to keep going. Oh. Even a sinner such as me could find salvation in the Fury's work, he said. I'd left it behind. Try to with all my art. 
said my prayers every day like a good man, but he came to me. He came to me. And there you have it, Hilda. Would you be so kind as to escort our friend here to the congregation? Yeah, aye, so long as you don't mind as if he's limping when he gets there. That was incredible, Thancred. But how did you know he would confess? Well, I've seen his life before. A troubled soul, manipulated by men of power and world as a weapon. I could not be certain, of course, but given the stakes, I thought it worth the risk. And have I captured a called your bluff? Must we entertain hypotheticals? The world is as vexing enough as it is. <laughs> Thank you, Thancred. Whether it be by luck or judgment, we have at last confirmed that these arsons were orchestrated by a person or persons of influence. I think it best that we now return to the congregation and discuss how best to proceed. I mean, it sounds to me um I'm sorry. Alpha Nordy is a little bit thick. Um no, it sounds to me like we can drill it down a bit more than just uh, someone highborn, like a wealthy person. I think we can actually take it further. I think we can go. Oh yeah, I've got a knight up here. I think we can actually say that it's a man of faith, like specifically because he was on about the prayers and he came to me, like you know, the, oh they, you know, blah blah blah. Yeah, I I think it's got to be someone in the church. I'm. Mm. Who though? I bet it's this guy. No, I don't. Handle loop. No, I don't know. I mean, he's in this cutscene, but then, yeah. I don't know. On behalf of the Holy See of Ishgard, I thank you all. The man you apprehended is being interrogated as we speak. Though he fell silent upon realizing that we had not turned, uh, not turned his master, he will soon tell us what he knows, one way or another. Pardon the intrusion, First Commander. Ah, Lord Ortario, you are come to see your father? He is attending Sir Aemic in his chambers as present. I am. He bid me bring this slight, this salve. Then do not let me detain you. And thank you for your kindness, my lord. In times of trouble, every man must do his part. Would that I could do more. Yeah, I quite like this guy. It would suck if it was this guy. Just saying. I mean, it could be one of the leaders of the High Houses, couldn't it? Because, I mean, they don't necessarily want to step down, so... Okay. Um... My lord, Arteria did not seem to be in the best of spirits. It is little wonder, Master Alphanud. His father is widely slandered, and his half-brother yet, uh, not yet cold in the grave. Slandered? Interesting. Okay, well, uh, before we go any further, I do just quite quickly want to open that coffer. Gonna give us some accessories, apparently. What do we get? Oh. 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 I mean, we did only get the one ring, which kind of sucks, but look at that. I mean, you can't really see it. Look at that. Oh, yes. I can even... still can't see it. Oh. Luna own, own, owns Luna Luna owns Twitch. There we go. Thanks for following. I appreciate that. Look at that ring though, Jesus. Level 60. Nice. Oh, that's I've also just realized that raises my average item level. Oh yeah, so it raises me from 218 to 245. Yes. Of course, I mean the Memphina's earring Memphina's earrings aren't ever gonna get replaced. <laughs> Not until I hit 80. Um, and unfortunately, the Yeti Fang Ring of Slaying. I bet if I take that off. Oh, okay, no, don't worry. I was going to say that would probably raise my average, but it doesn't. Oh, probably because that's uh, above half. <laughs> don't worry. Anyway, yeah, cool. Awesome. We've got some new new gear. I like that. Ooh, yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, what's this? Oh, um, we'll go for the silver piece. 
Oh, we're gonna get given a Halka fan. Noise. And the house for attempt kite shield, I couldn't care less. Don't, I don't really care about the uh, the shield. I do not mean to diminish our accomplishments, but until we identify the ones who ordered the fire set, our work is far from finished. Hey guys, do you see what I mean, Michael? It, random cutscenes, the voice, it's weird. Between the various conservative and religious factions in Ishgard, I dare say there's no shortage of parties who would like to see the status quo preserved. Do any likely suspects spring to mind? I'm sorry, did they change his voice actor since the last cutscene he was voiced in, like, ten minutes ago? <laughs> Far too many to count. <sighs> oh! Up and about already. Jesus, hey, how you doing? Lord Commander, your wounds. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Are healing well. Thank you. Right. Time is of the essence. Lest we forget, these men would sooner put their own city to the torch than see it change. Bit silly to me, but sure. When our enemies learn that we have apprehended their arsonist, there is no telling how they will react. I think they already have. Look, Commander, an armed mob has seized control of the vault. They already have. And now we know. Tell us what happened, sir. Spare no detail. We were directing refugees into the Basilica, as you ordered. When all of a sudden, men brandishing weapons were all around us. It happened so fast, my lord. We had no time to respond. Who's that? Who's the priest? They've taken the refugees hostage and barricaded themselves inside the vault. And they sent you to deliver their demands. They, the true brothers of the faith, demand that a conclave to select the next archbishop be held forthwith. Furthermore, they, they declare that you, Lord Commander, are guilty of patricide and high treason, and that you must surrender yourself at once to receive of the Fury's judgment. Oh, that's sneaky! By stabbing him, he's no longer able to compete, uh, to do trial by combat. Oh, sneaky bastards. I mean, if... Ridiculous. Do they honestly think that executing Sir Emmerich would change anything? That the truth will somehow die with him? I'm not being funny, but <laughs> this is only if we let this go ahead, so I say we end it. These fundamentalists rage against the passing of the old ways, unable to accept there can be no going back. You ever heard his voice before? Given the fanciful nature of their demands, a peaceful resolution does not seem likely. If the hostages are to be rescued, it will be by force, I fear. Yeah, no, 100 percent, yeah. Agreed. Lucia, take a contingent of knights and establish a perimeter outside the entrance. At once, Lord Commander. Hilda, I need your people out in force throughout the broom. When word spreads of the situation, the friends and family of the hostages may try to take matters into their own hands. I will not give these militants more targets. I shall lead the assault on the vault. Master Alphano, can I count on the support of the Scions? But I think you should sit down for this one. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah, they, they haven't met yet. Yeah, um, Thancred hasn't met any yet, has he? I'm trying to remember back to around we on. I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. I shall join you as well, Lord Commander. Your assistance is most welcome, Lord Atwarel. To arms, then, friends. Time is against us. Uh, okay.
didn't think he was much of a fighter, personally. Why do I not having said that? No, he did do a bit of fighting early days, didn't he? Um, yeah, no, he, he, um, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Right, in the pillars, where in the pillars? Uh, right, literally, Joy Coyser. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're making... Well, I was going to say, we're doing well time-wise. We're not. <laughs> Really not. We're eight quests in out of forty-four. I was. I'm being honest. I was hoping to get through half of the Pro Seven Sword content today, half on Wednesday. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have such luck. Yeah, what I think we might do, uh, just because I know I can't stream for the the you know, I can't stream for like five hours tonight. Uh, probably got like another hour today. Um, what we might do is I might stream tomorrow. Yeah, I might stream tomorrow and Tuesday. Yes, I'm going to stream tomorrow and Tuesday. And then, of course, Wednesday as well. Which then brings us, hopefully, that gives us, what, four days to do 44 quests. So as long as we're doing 10 quests a day, roughly, we should be fine. Um, so as long as I get to, basically, as long as I get to, like, well, 11 quests a day. So as long as I get to quest 11 and complete it this today, we're on good pace. And I think I should be able to. Because, I mean, the average is four quests an hour. Works out about right. Um, and then, like, yeah, then Thursday we're jumping into Stormblood. Yeah. Okay. Listen well. We will enter the Ballista si si uh, silently via this gate. According to our latest report, there are at least six hostages being held within. The numbers and readiness of the true brothers of the faith are unknown. I am told that I am told I'm claimed to have served under King Thorn, uh, under Thorn the Seventh. Might be the same true of the rest. Given the swiftness with which they seize control of the vault, I think it's highly likely, yes. Which means that they may well possess the knowledge required to turn the building's defences against us. Uh, Jesus, why am I double-clicking? I'm no stranger to the battlefield, Sir Amy. My arm will not falter. My shield will not break. Helone, as my witness, will bring these... We will bring these fan... Fanatics... Fan... To justice. Jesus, I can't talk today. Oh, uh, well said, my lord. Friends, follow me. All right, we're being level sync down to 60. We're losing six levels, but that's okay. I think we should be fine. Fine. Right. Is this where we actually get to see Aemic properly fight? We've seen a little bit of Aemic fighting, I think, uh, in Heaven Sword. There was a. Uh, sorry, in um, Around Reborn, there was a little bit of it. Why have I not cast that? Yeah, what I will say is, <laughs> even though you get level synced, I, l I really do love that your gear doesn't get, like, down synced. Like, that makes me happy. What are you attacking the refugee for? Little bastard. Yeah, like, you, you, you still... I mean, your gear does get... Your stats get leveled down, but, like, your gear is still super OP. It just means you can deal like a, a massive amount of damage in one hit. Like basically took out that guy, like a third of that guy's health. Well, well, a quarter of that guy's health in one hit. It's great. There's a refugee. Let's save them. Okay. So this is really the work of the Archbishop's form certain sense. Yes. Yeah. And you got the sound of the alarm. Why do you say alarm? Got one of those. There we go. Sick. It has only just, it just occurred to me. We have.
Okay, so it's just going to be, we have Thancra and Alphanod and Astola here. As well as Aemic and Artor Artorial. Um, we should be smashing this. Down with you! Jesus Christ, bud. Take a chill pill, yeah? Oh yeah, I was, I was supposed to secure the, the. My bad. I forgot the hostage was my uh, my. Yeah, there we go. My responsibility. I genuinely thought that said bulk decorator, not bulk deacon. Uh, where is your stutter actually? She just like abandoned them. What? What are you two do it? We've lost them as well. What's going on? Let's go. Where, where, what, who? Okay, so they're dealing with them. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Not only one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Alpha Nord, Alpha Nord sticking behind. Yeah. So, Sankar. I was wondering why they, like, lost their their little nameplates above their heads. I was thinking, what's going on? Uh oh. Fair enough, fair enough. We, uh,. And that, that, yeah, cool. We we've lost those two, so now it's literally just you me. You underestimate me, Aomic. Did, hang on, did um I? Oh, your Stola did say she was going. I was wondering why we lost to Stola. The Stola said we'll. I watched the entrance. I see. That was like ages ago. Do this. Our battle's ready, so we'll get that in a sec. Obviously, I am paying so much attention to what my allies are saying to me. But yeah, it's just saying, making Artorial. Artorial, bud, you've taken a bit of damage. You wanna grab a bite to eat? This is like a proper dungeon. This is weird. Sir Simonard, lay down your arms and release the hostages. <coughs> and you, you'll be showing mercy. Jesus, I just inhaled and. I'm sorry. I'll give him a word. The word of a heretic and king slayer. I would sooner trust a dragon. Activate the knights. We will show the hostages the same mercy he showed the archbishop. I mean, Aemic did show the archbishop mercy. It was me that didn't. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. Blame me. Not like you, Sir Aemic. I am a man of honour. By my hand, you shall receive the, the, of the fury's judgment. So does there be a trial, then? Lord Arturio, Summax, leave us and save the hostages. I will deal with Sir Simonard. I don't mind doing it. I'm... You're injured, but I don't mind being a champion. I'll wipe them out in like five years. <laughs> Alright, it's just you and me, Arturio. Let's go. Am I going the right way this way? Where are we going? I genuinely... Am I supposed to go... I, I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way. No, okay, it is blocked up. Right. Okay, so we are going backwards, and I'm assuming to save uh, other hostages or bonds united. I'm going or... Oh, okay, yeah, this way. That's fine. Are you gonna fight? Or are you just gonna stand there? Useless. But you're looking as useless as your brother right now. Come over here and fight, yeah? <laughs> He's not having any of it. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure you can say you're Iron Bone if you're not going to fight. Oh! It's not Bonds United. It's, it's Bonds Untied. Uh-huh, my bad. English is my first language, I do promise. <laughs> yeah, you two are free. Run! Um, 
Um, so I'll show you, where am I going? Enemies all around, over here, over here. Take you out, well, attack you. Easy peasy, look at that, smashed it. Oh, you are almost dead. Hey, how you doing? Here we go, so this is like, so, yeah, it's three out of three untied, but only five rescue. Uh, comes from the, right, so now we can go fight him. Get our sprint on. I almost feel like that sprint did nothing. Oh, can I not? I can go up this way. That would have been quicker. Right, aim, aim it's only ooh, 38 out of 100 vit uh, vitality. 37. I'm going to take that as his health. Right, aim it. Have a sit down. Chill a bit, yeah? Someone this tell that man to chill. Alright, if you say so, bud. I mean, you, you look, you're not exactly looking too hot right now. I mean, no one's even attacking him and he's losing vitality. Jesus. Okay, no, he's not anymore. Alright, face this. Oh, he's getting high. What? He's getting the back. He's going up. He's at 30 out of uh, 100. 31 out of 100. Look at that. Yeah, he would have died. If we had left him to it, he wouldn't have survived that. That's all. God bless him, man. Hey, look, we freed the sick one. Yay. Do you complete? I think so. Holy Jesus. His vitality went up quick, didn't it? 100% now. Oh, okay. Um, we will save your friend. Apparently, we're saving the friend. Oh, we just get teleported. I like it. Oh no, don't worry. Level sync. Uh, levels no longer sync. Duty complete. Oh, it was a Where scene. is he? Where is he? But I want to know. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Not very priestly, is it? Come no closer. Um. Okay. You have nowhere to run. Release the girl and surrender. Surrender to whom? The blasphemer who throws wide the gates to our enemy, who breaks bread with him and calls him brother. Ungodly swine! I would sooner die than surrender to you. Oh, okay, Is it well. Godly to spill the blood of an innocent child, to burn the homes of your brothers. Tell me, priest, is that godly? Do not speak to me of godliness, heathen. Your father's blood is on your hands. As is hers! Can we just job change and just... What's going on with his face? <laughs> Yo, Sid! Just... That one's good. Come on, Sid. Catch her. You stole it, come on! Look up! Oh! Oh, come on now. Come on, there we go. What? 
Bye. There we go. That's that's some good PR right there. I think the dragons won some favors there. <laughs> Look at that. Very nice. The Daphne. Awesome. Yeah. Well met, Knight. Mayhap I chose an inopportune moment. I think you picked the perfect moment. Not at all. Pray forgive us this most unworthy reception. We are honored to have you with us, and right glad of your aid. Fortune delivered the child unto me. I had but to receive her. Thank you for saving me. Thou art welcome, child. Aww. Very nice. Here he is, big man himself. Never did I think to be indebted to so unexpected a saviour. But full glad am I to be so. Friend of Izel, warrior of warriors, I had hoped to meet with thee. Where's that from? Proper red eyes, Jesus. I bear a message from my sire. Oh, from Freisfelder. Oh. Upon returning to our lands, Nidhogg's shade did sing unto his brood, and they, for skies unknown, did then take wing. This thou must know, for your fates are inextricably bound. Ooh, what the? What of Estinian? Is he truly lost to us? Such matters are beyond my ken. I but bear my father's words. Take from them what thou wilt. Fare you well, mortals. Bye. Hey, bud, your son was useless, by the way. <laughs> so it is, as they say, then. A great white dragon swooped down from the heavens to rescue an innocent child. Hello. Yeah. A most unexpected turn of events, but not an unwelcome one. The people will not soon forget this day. Yeah, I feel like the church might have a few problems now. I feel like that, that, that's going to spread. <laughs> Yet how will they choose to remember it, Sir Emmerich? And will these events serve to bring man and dragon closer together or drive a deeper wedge between brothers? Uh, how, can you, how can you possibly spin this story to look bad for the dragons? After a thousand years... The world these men once knew is changing, and with ungentle swiftness to boot. Though their actions are misguided, their sentiments are only to be expected. You may be sure that others will rally to their cause. I share your desire for a lasting peace with the Giovannians, I do. But I would not see it built on the bones of our countrymen, nor on our own. I see much of Horsifar in you, and I 
could not bear to mourn the passing of another Aww. son. Lord Edmund. He was a bit of a dreamer, weren't he? As is um, Zayman as well. Well, okay, that was cool. Right, let's uh, do the Street Raiders battle because we finished that. Oh, my God, it's going to let me switch. That'd be great. Switch, please. Right. Uh, SR, I'm assuming you meant Stream Raiders, uh, and now I just chill at work. Fair enough, Brett, fair enough. Question is, can you chill? <laughs> right, start a battle. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. There's lots of rocks on this one, which kind of sucks. Who's gonna kill the toads? Oh, we got some toads dead. Noise. There's, there's still plenty of toads to go. What is that? Swift flying rogue. That is a skin and a half. Jesus. I don't think I don't think it's still alive anymore. Dead eye archer. Noise. I think we might have this one. I'm not sure. I think we might have won this one. Oh, I forgot the rocks. It's fine. There's it's too many of us. Oh, especially with those heels. Look at that. Easy. It's easy peasy. Yeah, look, see. Nothing to worry about at all. Not in the slightest. We, we basically, we won. And even if we didn't reach the rock in time... There's four enemies and there's like, what, 14 of us. Well, one enemy, because the rock counts only as one. There we go. Sorted, boom. That was easy. Um, I'm telling you the rocks blend into where there should be a different colour. Yeah, what colour would you make them, though? That's the question. Right, everyone's getting seven gold. Nice. Someone's going to get two barbarian scrolls. It's uh, now Mila Pulache. I'm guessing that's how you say your name. Awesome. Right, let's go for the blue chest. Start battle. Ah, oh, I just realized I can upgrade an army unit. Shoot, I should have done that. Um, let's go flag bearer. For the... Actually, I think that quest is complete, but... Oh, well, flag bearer it is. Let's go. Come on, there we go. Right. So we, let's get back into the Final Fantasy... Oh, awesome. Uh, awesome, Britt. I've just seen your uh, message. I will be um, getting onto that once I f uh, finish the stream. Right, let's have a chat with Anthony Look for any colour that doesn't look like wrong. Yeah, no, that's true. Fair enough. Maybe there should be like dirt instead of stone. It has been a day of surprises, is it not? Tis but a pity Riddle could not stay longer. Yes, I think it's fair to say that she timed her departure rather less well than her arrival. Well timed scarcely does it justice, but one moment later would have been a moment too late. Let us pray that the Ishgardians who yet harbour doubts will take these events to heart and accept the truth of Say Aomic's words. Well, tis only I uh, meet that I inform Tatara of what has occurred here. If you have need of me, I shall be at Fort Hunt Manor. Allow me to accompany you. Tatara would never forgive me if I left for the Rolling Stones without saying goodbye. 
Mm -hmm. That would make sense. Yeah, that would make more sense, yeah. Um, I'm very much sunbox. I wish you were. Tell me, does Stancred seem quite well to you? Yeah, he seems fine. Um, uh, to be honest, knowing his, uh, knowing Stancred's, uh, personality, I think he got on well enough with Hilda, probably fits the bill. Of that, I have no doubt. His time in the wilderness did not deprive him of his charm. But that is neither here nor there. What concerns me is, is his etheric flow, which I fear has been irre irreparably disrupted. Why would I, would I see that? As a result, I strongly suspect that his ability to manipulate Aether has been compromised. Simply put, Thancred may no longer be able to wield magics. It would do so much to explain why he chose to remain within the wilderness instead of seeking a sound. He would have been compelled to rely solely on traditional methods of travel. travel significantly prolonging his journey. And when he learned that a nearby beast tribe was making preparations to summon a primal, it may well have made, seemed more sensible to wait. Are you saying he can't aid the travel? Oh. But this is still uh, a little more than speculation. To life proof, pray speak no word of it. Don't worry. Right then, I shall be on my way. Fire may have charmed Mr. Uh, Master Matoria for now, but who can say how long it'll last? I don't think anyone can charm Master Matoria. I think she's uncharmable. Um, okay. Oh, wrong buttons. Right then, so we need to turn this quest in and go for As It Once Was. This, I can't believe this, but I can't believe this particular quest took us 26 minutes to do. Uh, what am I doing? Over here. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think I need to be streaming Monday, yeah, tomorrow and Tuesday. As well as the Wednesday, Thursday as well. Um, so I think the plan will be to finish Heaven's Ford today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, and if needed, the beginning of Thursday, but I do want to be jumping into Stormblood Thursday. Um, and then... Friday we'll do more Stormblood and the weekend we'll see. We'll, yeah. Yes, I do want to go inside the manor. Thank you. Appreciate that. Right, Apple. That Vodofnia should chance to arrive even as the girl fell. Truly, I could not have planned it better myself. True. Skeleton freak out by the guy. Ah, good. We were afraid you might have left. Not yet. Tell me that guy did not look like the priest. I'm just saying. A shield, my lord? Fit for a true knight. An expression of our gratitude to you and yours. Long overdue. But there is something else I would discuss ere you part. Something which cannot leave this room. My father will soon step down as head of our house. Oh. Sir Emmerich was not the only one to fall under suspicion following the death of the Archbishop. There are some who believe my father complicit in a coup d'etat. Thus he intends to renounce his title to absolve our house of suspicion and secure the support of our peers. Surely there must be another way to convince houses Durandere and Zamail. So I said to him, alas, he will not budge. Hmm. Bummer. Ever since I was a child, I knew that I would one day succeed my father. The thought of it filled me with pride. Yet once I learned the day was at hand, my heart was filled with naught but dread. I think our you'd be fine. Our legacy is built upon the lies of our forefathers. 
In accepting this title, am I not perpetuating this injustice? Why should I become the next Count? I think by asking these questions, it proves he is fit for it. Um, Knight lives to serve. Yeah, we'll go with that, sure. Actually, I feel like the dot 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 may have been better. You sound just like him. I, I suspect that is what Horshafon would have said. To aid those in need. When you look on that shield, I trust you will remember his words. And should I once more find my resolve wavering, I ask that you show me the way. I will be honest, he, he definitely turned out to be the better brother. You were a sister to Horshafon. <laughs> will you be a sister to me as well? I'm not sure that's what he wanted me to be, to be honest. <laughs> you should have heard the stuff he said to me. <laughs> Come, Emmanuelaine. There's much to be done. For Father, and for Sir Emmerich, and for Ishgard. Yeah. No? Nothing? <laughs> I don't think he's too happy. Uh, I know he did want to be the, uh, the Lord, but... You know, he wanted to be the head, but... Oh, to think we share the same blood. Pray excuse us. <laughs> Honestly, I know. Oh, it's terrible. That kid's useless. <laughs> he just is. Those were the days of promises and vows. Of tentative first steps into an uncertain future. A future mm. shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Born of good and evil, of light and darkness, and shepherded by our hand. Be it for weal, or be it for woe. Ooh, from the memoirs of Count Edmund de Fortem's Heavensward, as light goes, so does dark, as so goes dark. Noise. Okay, we're going for the Anagon pieces because we don't need the other thingies. So Pitta sleeps with me now and she won't let any of the other cats in my room if she can't be in there. Aww. Aww, bless. This is thy proof. The Ger uh, Geron Oracles. I think that's what he just said. It is a truth long forgotten, a tale from the beginning. A tale of the beginning of the path we've been set upon. Who's this? Who's this? The leader burst, and the warrior of darkness. Our fates were ordained long ago, Archon, and the Garleans are no exception, nor the Triad. You know what must be done. That's right, because I think uh, the end of. Uh oh, you know, I think post um, Ram Reborn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the end of a Ram Reborn, um, Elidibus and uh, Uriangia were speaking, weren't they? Which was a bit dodgy. Oh, shoot, I've just realised it's uh, Ida and Papi. Oh, whoa. Well? Everyone has their orders. The mask will attack as soon as all units are in position. The Imperials won't know what to hit them. I fear it'll be bloody. By Raugo, it better be. Why can't we see her face? We cannot stay here forever, Eda. We have other responsibilities. I know full well what my responsibilities are, and I mean to fulfill them. Every one. Yes. You see her face. Hey, we've got the achievement, so it goes. Right, um, and if they're in there with her, she chases them out. Oh. Right. Um, 
again, we only get one of the meal, so it's whatever. Oh, Tataru! Good tidings, eh? Ooh. Alphanord, Sunbucks, I've been looking all over for you. We've received news regarding Flamin, uh, Hori Boulder, and Colton and... Oh, wow, more than I was expecting. Really? Has something happened? No, 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 it's nothing bad. Quite the opposite, in fact. It seems that once they learned the Scion's good name had been restored, they boarded the next ship bound for Limsa Lominsa. They should be arriving in the moon now. One, one good name has been restored since when? Oh, wait, wasn't that, um... Oh, uh, of course, because the Sultan. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sultana's back around. I forgot, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> it's easy to forget how useful link files are, isn't it? When they work, I mean, and you don't mind being spied upon. Right, but wonderful news. Um, to think that our reunion is close at hand. A pleasure to see you too, Alphanord. Ah, thank you. And Cry, what brings you to here? Cry and I have been looking into how we might track down Minfuga. And we may have just found the answer. Ooh, okay. Sunbucks, when you were fleeing all dial with Minfilia, you said that Hydaelyn spoke to her shortly before you parked But yeah, yeah, so Hydaelyn spoke to Minfilia. That's right. Well, assuming that is true, and I see no reason to suspect that it is not, it seems reasonable to conclude that Hydaelyn commanded her to remain behind. That is to say, the Mother Crystal directly interceded to guide Minfilia. Admittedly, this is all still quite hypothetical, but I propose that such intervention, how subtle, may surely leave some residual trace. A lingering disturbance of the Aether, or Ripple, if you will. In order to establish the existence of such a Ripple, of course, we will require suitable data. Fortunately, I know where such data can be found. The battleground where Sunbucks failed the ultimate weapon, and the site of my personal ignominy. <laughs> Twas there that Hyden intervened to she uh, shield her from the magic, I invoked. Kryon and I will infiltrate the Castrum and analyse the Aether therein. The two of you alone? I have proven knack for substitute, and I am confident there will be sufficient nooks and crannies in which to hide Kyle while the patrols pass. Besides, if you and Sambax were to come along, who will see to Philemon's grand homecoming? When you put it like that, very well, I will trust in your plan. I know not whether this data will yield a means to find Minfilia, but it will, at the very least, eliminate another avenue of inquiry. Tataru and I will return to the Rolling Stones and make preparation for our comrade's return. Might I impose upon you to meet them at the Lominson Docks? Sure. That's fine. Then I shall see the four of you at the Rolling Stones. Safe travels. Right, I think... I'm gonna be honest. I, yeah, well, no, because Dragon Song's not over. I was gonna say I, I suspect that we're now leaving Ishgard for good, for good for this expansion. But I don't think that's the case, if I'm being honest, um, because we're only nine out of twenty-five in the Dragon Song War quest line. Hmm. Uh, it would be better if I just teleport to, yeah, literally the Arcana Guild. Cool. Hey, how you doing? You gonna get a voice scene? Ah. Oh. Oh, Sunbucks, how have you been? I'm here, let me have a good look at you. Hello. Thanks to Twelve. One hears the strangest tales in forest, uh, foreign lands. I worried about you all day. I uh, worried about you all every day. We would have sent word sooner, but the Braves afforded us no opportunity. When they fell upon us in the market, it was all we could do to escape. Tataru found her way to you, of course, but we were forced to seek shelter aboard Hanish, a Hanish vessel. It pained us not being there when you needed us most, but we made the most of it, didn't we, Countenant? Studied and trained from dusk till dawn, we did. We would have sent word sooner, but we knew not whom to trust, and with the vast distance. 
But those dark days are behind us at last. I should be glad indeed to return home and speak with my daughter. Oh, about that. Um, what do you mean she's missing? Could you let this happen? What do you mean me? <laughs> but forgive me, I, I'm sure you're doing everything in your power to find her. As Sancred must be. He watched over her fr uh, from the first, long before me. And he watched over to the last. I pray for her safe return and busy myself in the meantime. Yeah, about that. Dankred was literally only just found as well. Yeah. For a certainty, there is much and much more to be done. The Braves may have bodied, uh, bloodied us, but the path remains and we shall not be swayed from it. Are those... You, oh, you can see them in the stream. A bunch of lighting glitches. You can just see like spots of light appearing on the ground and on the wall behind them. Weird. All right, that's the spirit. To the Scions and the long overdue reunion. Huzzah! Yeah, noise. Well, there you have it. To the Rolling Stones. To the Rolling Stones we go. Okay. It's been a while since we've had a quest there. Oh, but first we've got Thancred. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, what? That's Thancred, but who's this? A random guard. Are you covered your eyes still? Get me over this hair. Oh, hello. Well done, sir. And with that, I believe we are ready to proceed. Yeah, we did this once. Quite literally, we did this. We dressed up in Imperial gear. Oh, look, see, his eyes are fine. Business, then. The next patrol may not be so credulous. His eyes are fine. What's going on? Oh, hang on, no, I say that. His eye's not fine. Look at it! He's got one regular eye, and then he's got a white eye. I think he's blind in that eye. He's going blind. <laughs> Why must you be so disappointingly brusque? You're not at all as Minfilia described, you know. I don't think you favoured me with so much as a single compliment since we set out. Tell me, did your time in the wilderness sap you of all your charm? Or are you holding it in reserve for your beloved? It might just be that he's not into Lalafels. This is neither the time nor the place. He's a bit different, isn't he? Well, call me old-fashioned, but when I'm risking life and limb infiltrating an Imperial Castrum, I like to be sure of my comrades' motivations. Hmm. I see now where Alfino gets it from. Minfilia is dear to me, it is true, but not in the way you think. Fifteen years passed, when she was still but a child. There was an incident at a parade. A gubu broke free of its fetters and ran amok through the streets of Uldar. Had I been more attentive, I could have prevented it. But I was distracted, and her father was killed. Yeah, no, I've seen that scene, so that's from the, like, that's from 1.0. That's the, the 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 very first thing that a player sees in the very first version of Final Fantasy XIV uh, when they enter Uldar. That's right, I've seen that cutscene. I feared she would never recover. But in the years that followed, she showed herself to be more resilient than I had ever imagined. And when she learned of her gift, she did not flinch from the responsibility, but sought to guide others on the path. She touched the hearts of all around her. Mine, Louis Soir, Every science. In those dark days following the calamity, she was our guiding light, our hope for a brighter future. Aww. She had so many dreams, and I would give anything to make them come true. My apologies. I can see she means the world to you. I did not mean to pick at old scars. No harm done. I assure you. But fair is fair, my lady. What is Minfilia to you? You mean you don't know? Only my dearest friend. When I finally emerged from my torpor, I learned that Neri a day had passed without her asking after me. She never gave up hope. And neither will I. Forget what this song's called. 
Forgotten Sorrow or something. Then for Infilia's sake, let us pray that these vestiges of Hydaelyn's intervention will lead us to her. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's been a while since I've heard the limbs of music. That took me off guard a sec. Jesus. <laughs> that caught me. Yeah, that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that uh, switch to the limbs of music. Right. Blamin, how you doing? Feels good to be home again. To think that everyone is waiting for us just beyond those doors. Friends and family with whom we have shared so much. Yeah, um... Got to help me, but the older I get, the more sentimental I become. Come, let's 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 not keep them waiting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you guys still want to say no? Okay. I feel like someone should probably warn Flamin that. I mean, all the all we're still missing Minfilia, Ida, and Papuimo. Although we know that the last two. A safe, like we've seen them in a cutscene. The only person we don't know about is Minfilia, but I feel like she had Hydaelyn's blessing towards the end there, and as such, she was probably shielded by the light, uh, shielded with the light. So she's obviously going to come out safe, you know. And the aim for me fills my heart with joy to see the both of you hale and healthy. And what of Higuri? She, uh, she is well, though abroad on the mission at pre uh, present. It just wasn't the same without you. Welcome back, my lady. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, this is busier than I thought. Jesus, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, we could do more of that around here. Heartfelt reunions with the stalwart companions. Brings a... <laughs> brings a bloody tear to my eye. I'm not burping. I'm not one of the... I can't burp on command, unfortunately. I know some people can, but I can't. Um, to, sec uh, to secret oneself in a ship hold, to secure safe passage to a faraway land. This is a tale we know all too well. When they are all rested, I shall speak to a, a formal introduction. Oh, yeah. Why, wait, my friend. Come, there's no need to be shy. That's right. They, um, they came over on ship, didn't they? Pray, grant me a moment longer at least. Though I am happy to oblige you, my legs are rather less accommodating. Oi, Boulder, how you doing? Ugh. One of the seven hells drove my brother, little brother, to come to Mordona. Oh. Oh, oh. That, that wasn't a sound he made. It's, that's his brother's name. Ocha. <laughs> okay, Ocha. Right. Why you, brother? The signs, of course. For a thousand days I trained. Then I might grow as strong as you. Then I might fight alongside you. Yet not now that you're now that you're here, I sense you have surpassed me once more. No, do not tell me you trained with the Hanish, did you? Your eyes do not deceive, brother. I, I have studied the trials of the Braves and drunk deep of the souls of mine enemies. Glad to return, though I am to be home. I cannot help but think of those who have yet to return. Once we have settled in, I would join in the search. Yeah, fair enough. Let's have a chat with Jotaro. Oh, there she is. Hey! How you doing? It's only been 10 minutes since I last saw you. Looks like everyone's having a bit of fun. It's good. It's been so long since I've seen them all like this. No, oh, she's just happy about it. Too long. It was the chaos born of my foolish ambition which forced them to flee. Though they have returned, there are others yet, yet missing, others whom we cannot forsake. We'll find them, Alpha Lord. I know we will. Minfilia, Edo, Papu, Remo, every last one. And when they walk through those doors, we'll be here to welcome them home. With me at the head of the queue, of course. I love how I have to turn and just go. Alright, we're gonna go for the cookie. Nice. Right, just looking time wise, I think what we'll do 
to try and get through your next two quests. Right. Uh, oh, we're going to get a minion from this one. The word of the mother. Alpha Nord is eager to return to the search for Amphelia. Uh, now that there, that image is a little bit telling. Give me two seconds. I need to check something. Bugger. I knew it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just kind of, I'm just having a quick scan through the, the the upcoming quests. It's really not as much as I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, no, yeah, this is this is a uh, this is the exact one I thought it was based on the image. Uh, it's, a, it's a dungeon quest. Yay! Right. Thank you, and Carl. Uh, contact, contacted us a short while ago. It would seem that their foray into Castor Meridian bore fruit. They asked that we rendezvous with them in Eustola and Indilashir, where they will share their findings. Rude though it is to depart without speaking to the guest of honor, I suspect you will forgive me if I return with their daughter. I think that's a fair, yeah. I think that's a fair point, yeah. Right. Let's take ourselves over to Adilashir and have a chat with Kryle. I forgot there were so many side quests to do, it is crazy. Kryle! Tell us, what's going on? My apologies, I see I'm the last to arrive. So what news do you have for us? Well, as we postulated, there is indeed what appeared to be the remnants of an unexplained disturbance in the Aether at the scene of the Ultima Weapon's destruction, a ripple odds with the presiding pattern. Though faint, the waveforms bore a strong resemblance to those observed following the destruction of the Isle of Val, when I believed Heidelin shielded me with the blessing of light. To confirm our findings, we paid a visit to the Silda Aqueducts. There we detected the same waveform, but orders of magnitude larger, as one would expect of a more recent disturbance. Eidolon, there is no other explanation. But there is more. When I studied the site where Ashtoni used flow, it appeared that t not two, but three beings had been affected. Yet, unlike Istola and Thancred, there was no trail to follow. Our unknown third party was simply there, and then not there. Now recall your visions of a vast crystal floating in the Sea of Aether. Though this too is but a theory, studies of gifted subjects suggest that when communicating with Hydaelyn, we briefly leave our bodies behind. So, let us consider the facts. 1. Hydaelyn interceded. 2. A third being was caught in Istola's flow and vanished without a trace. And 3. Hydaelyn may have the capacity to summon the consciousness of gifted individuals to her side. You are implying, I take it, that Hydaelyn guided Monfilia into the compass of my magic, that she might summon her body and soul into the ethereal sea? In which case, we must need to continue our search there, for a blessing the means to do so already exists. Ooh. I speak of the Antitown, a Charlayan construction conceived to provide scholars a vantage point over the ethereal sea. Though I know not where its entrance lies, we need only ask that it's uh, its last custodian, a contrary old crone who, for another blessing, refused to join the Exodus. Master Matoya was the keeper of the Anti Tower. I had no idea. Then our course is clear. We must petition her aid once again. All right then, I'm happy with that. There we go. Um, Jaden Gigflex. Hi, I came back. Hi. Hello, how are we doing today? Um, our battle's ready to go, so I think we should uh, get onto that. So let's go. Ooh, is that gonna? Play? It's not, uh, we're not. Ooh, it's not gonna play ball. Right, stream readers, here we go. Right. St uh, right, start battle. Let's go. I'm going to be honest, this is a bit of an easier one. <laughs> There's really not many enemies. Although I haven't said that. Uh, 
Um... Uh, I don't think we can attack. Oh, yeah, literally our only unit that can attack is, like, leaving. <laughs> we have the one unit left. That went about as well as I thought it might. Really? We lost? Oh, no. It's a shame for our last uh, battle to be a, a, a loss. Uh, oh, I need to collect these. My bad. Make sure you're collecting event and battle pass rewards, of course, and turning quests in and whatnot, so I can turn that in. Thank you. Oh, I've got one more flag bearer. There we go. Got the rock and ran from the ants. Yeah, literally. I mean, that was fine, because I don't think the ants can attack uh, the, the flying unit, can they? Oh, I can upgrade my musketeer in base. Sweet. Anyway, yeah, so that's going to be it for the um, battle portion. Just because um, I'm probably not going to be live for another half hour. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, let's uh, jump back into this. And I'm just going to go ahead and hide that for now. There we go. Right, okay. Let's speak with Matoya. Um, where's the best place to go? I suppose I should probably just... Because I can fly, can I? So it doesn't really matter which exit I take. So we'll just go straight here. Yeah, we just need to head south, talk to Matoya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that apparently, while I was in a delicious, someone decided to shout in the chat, please queue for St. Uh, Morcane's Arbitorium hard as a healer or tank. And someone else shouted, no. Lovely stuff. Amazing. But yeah, let's have a chat with Matoya. Yeah, this is a this is a dungeon quest, so we are going to try and queue for the dungeon. Fingers crossed, we get it quick, uh, as we have been for pretty much all of our quests. Um, fortunately. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to go down here. It's actually the cave under here, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of our quests have been quite lucky to be uh, short queues. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry, a lot of our dungeons we've been quite lucky in having short queues. So I'm pleased with that. And I would ideally like to keep hold of that. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. It might end up being like a 20 minute queue, which would really suck. Like right, Matoya's cave, yes. Oh, Matoya! Shoot. I, what is it about the music in Matoya's cave? Hey, Matoya, babe, we're here. Talk to us. Can we get a voice scene? Nope. <laughs> Oh, what's a surprise? Well, what secrets have you come to extract from me this time? Ah, though it pains me to admit it, your words quite strike close to the mark. We humbly ask that you grant us entry to the anti-tower, that we might use it to seek a friend who we believe has been transported to the ethereal sea. And who told you I could do such a thing, I wonder? Ha <laughs> ha! The tower was abandoned to its magical keepers fifteen years ago. They have run the place. Uh, they have the run of the place now. If that's no deter deterrent to you, then by all means. Is that all? I felt sure you would seek to dissuade us from our course, given your role as custodian. Alien. Role? Hardly. The forum foisted the title on me. During the Exodus, my every entrance to the Anti Tower was sealed save one. Oh. My role consists of making sure no one with ill intent sneaks through it. Such was the forum's final order to me. Well, I can remove the wards right now. Will you be going or not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we will, Master Matoria. We would. Uh, oh, click. My bad. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see you. Some of us can go. Take the magicless rogue too, if you like. He's no use to me. The rest of you will stay and work, and I'll hear no argument. These are my terms. 
Oh, and I should be so delighted to accompany you. Lead the way, Sunbox. The Thancred, no. Your etheric flow has been compromised. Do not deny it. To venture into an environment so thick with aether, so close to the ethereal sea, would be further risk of impairment, or worse. But Minfilia could be in there, waiting for us. And you could die. And for what? If she is beyond, uh, waiting beyond, Sunbox will find her. Trust in her. Have faith. Damn it all. Bring her back to us. Oh, I will, thank but Don't you worry. At some point within the next 34 quests. Duty finder has been updated with new regular duty. Anti-tower, let's do it. Uh, I'm trying to decide what I want for supper. I haven't opened DoorDash to see what's open, but I have been wanting pizza. Pizza sounds quite nice, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't actually have to walk in there because it's a dungeon, but yeah. Anti-tower. Let's do it. And what's great is because now it's post Heaven's World content, as in it's like endgame Heaven's World, um, we end up getting poetics for it. And it's less than five minute wait time, boom. I mean, it is a short, like it's a, a light party, so it's less time, you know, it's likely to be less time. What are we doing after this? Are we, are we talking to someone? Who are we talking to? Um, just so that tells me where I need to go. Speaker of Alpha Nord. Doesn't say where. I'm assuming it's here. It doesn't actually say where we go. We do get a mount. Uh, we do mount. No, we get a minion, which I'm looking forward to. So that should be fun. Right. Fortunately, a minute in, and we still haven't uh, gotten anywhere. Anyway, yeah, so it just says I need to have a chat around. I'm going to assume he sticks here, like working. I mean, you know, we know what he's like, so is he really working, let's be honest. Um, yeah, so we know um, that he's going to be doing a job here for Matoya, so I'm guessing, just like that. I'm guessing, um, yeah, I'm guessing he's uh, just going to sit there. Hide my little questing. Do a little wave. Boom. Oh, that looks cool. Why is it called the anti tower, though? Is it made of antimatter? Hmm. I had a slight suspicion it was upside down because the water was flowing up. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty cool. So is that a portal into the Aether then, I wonder? Right, before we before we jump into this dungeon, I need to use that and meditation. Boom. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh, our healer is here. Cool, cool. That would be bad. Clear the manifest. What's the manifest? Wait, do we is some reason when you hear of a quest when you hear of a dungeon called the anti tower you would expect that you'd be inside the anti tower not going to it fair enough i was under the impression that we'd be maybe we do go into it like i don't know i've just realized we're on level we're in... i don't know why i've only just realized but we're in level 60 dungeons awesome and it makes sense because it's post heavens war isn't it mm -hmm. oh Yeah, like, I really want to know, do we go into the tower, like, and fight in there, or is the final boss, like, right up there? Like, what's going on? I'm not close enough. It's cool, though. I like this. I, I genuinely have no idea why, but I'm getting Mario vibes. I don't know why. Why am I getting Mario vibes from this? Oh, I was, okay. I, I think I might have been the only one attacking that thing. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea why I'm getting Mario vibes from this. It's weird. Oh, the light just changed. I will get that shortly. So uh, while we're fighting this, I'm going to do like minimal DPS. Let's use that. Uh, let's bring it up. There we go. Are we, are we at the correct 
home we are. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. There we go. Oh, I'm doing so much DPS in the. Oh yeah, look at that. So much damage. Okay, it's the right shade. Sure. Cool, cool. I mean, what I had to do really was look into my uh, my camera. Like, well, the uh, preview. Yeah, so something tells me we are actually going into the uh, the tower, which is cool. Yeah, I do wonder what mechanics are real with, with this boss. So far, so good. I mean, it's just a water bomb. Wow. I mean, you know, when he's got... What was that? What's with the effect coming out of him? What's he doing? Is he a bard? Weird. Hey, you can throw as many water bombs as you want, mate. Ain't gonna make any difference. 20% health, what are you doing? Hey, you like singing or something? Oh, she whoa! Uh. The hell? Any good? Not for me, greed. Hey, we're inside the anti tower. Awesome. I was wondering if we were getting inside here. Jesus. You travel down the up staircase. Get yeah, mimic, mimic, mimic. Ah. <laughs> Is it bad? I wanted that. To oh, speaking of mimics, hey. I've just realised I didn't actually make use of the Forbidden Chakra in that last fight. I really should, at some point, make use of that. It's like the other one from the die first, so let's take you out. Oh, I really, I switch and then... I just realised we've got a red mage in there. Okay, that's weird. You will no. Let's take you, you, you. There we go. Yeah, we've got a red mage in here, which means someone's doing some massive damage. At least I should hope they are. Though apparently, I am still highest aggro in some of these enemies, oh, other than tank. This is a little bit concerning. Not what you would expect. Because it's my understanding. Oh my god, why are there so many enemies? My understanding that red mages are, are absolutely mental with damage. Could be long though. Although, having said that, actually, I think the, um, the main reason they're so good at Palace of Dead is because of their ability to heal. So. Got one of those, one of those, one of these, one of those. And let's drop one of these. Boom. Sorted, we're already at 63%. I don't like the fact that there are other enemies. Should we be. Nope. I suspect they're going to go boom. They want to go boom? Go boom, please. Let's see. Oh, there you go, yeah. They... This... Jesus. Whoa. Take aim all you want, bud. Ow. That hurt so much. 
<laughs> oh my god. They, he, I mean, yeah, he did a bit of damage, but it wasn't amazing, was it? Here we go. Here we go. Final room, I'm guessing. You know, you know what I'm saying. End fight. Oh, let's use Forbidden Shackle. There we go. It gets us uh, all set for the, the boss. Actually, I haven't said that yet. It's not final room. Final room. Nah, I can't talk. Can I just drop one of these on the way down? Boom. Oh, shoot. I'm actually holding aggro. Oh, well, but two of them have a slightly higher than usual aggro on me. Come on. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Tank's got it. I will admit, I've always found it. <laughs> I've always found the logic weird about the whole, the, you know, party system. Oh god, I should probably move out of that. There we go. Like, how does it work? Like, it, I mean, obviously the logic is that yeah, the tank holds aggro, so they they have tons of health and tons of defense. The healers are really good at healing, and you've got some damage members who deal massive damage. I've just realised we're on the ceiling. Um, that makes sense to me. But where the logic falls apart is why would an enemy focus on the tank when they're receiving the most damage from damage dealers? Surely the, the enemies would rather um, focus on the ones dealing damage. It's just, yeah, it's just a thought. Like, for example, when we fight bosses... Like, okay, let's, when we fight tough bosses... You typically tend to focus on the ads when they spawn in. Especially if they're dealing a massive amount of damage. But the enemies don't see it that way. They would rather focus on the boss than the ads that deal a massive damage. Ad being DPS members. Boss being the tank. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, it's how many enemies. I just always thought the logic was a bit flawed, to be honest. Like I, I always thought that that kind of that kind of thinking was what made it so that you would find, um, oh god, you know, that you would find things like um, torn. You know, you you get tank spells called torn, and it makes sense because you'd want the tank to taunt the enemy. But the problem is, you'd need to constantly be taunting the enemy to offset the amount of damage the DPS is doing. Here we go. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Kakabrina. They're adorable dolls, terrible dolls, yip, ho, ho. Bit creepy. Just saying. Are these the boss? They're the boss. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they waited for me. Aww. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, okay, apparently the tank has a plan. Oh! Yeah, no, I didn't think that would be it. It's a bit unfair, this. Uh oh. Are they going to form into like a mass? Yeah, a message. Massive dot. Is this the boss? This is the boss. Okay. <laughs> Got one of those, one of those. Oh no, one of those. One of those. Oh god. Can you not, please? Did I stand in something? I probably stand, stood in something. Ooh. There we go. Oh, I was confused. Why was I confused? I wasn't confused. What are you about? I know, I know what I'm doing. Ready for the Yeah, you ready for the... Oh, ow. What can me for? Oh, I didn't actually want to do that. Oh, my God. Yes, I got in there before you cast the spell. Nice.
Um, I mean, I know we should probably wait, but I mean, I'm no. Don't worry, I was gonna limit break, but like losing health so quick, there was no point. Hey, Wolf Mage! Thanks for the raid, appreciate that. How'd your stream go? That was a creepy boss. <laughs> oh, wow, everyone. Wow, okay. Uh, they all left without. Okay. <laughs> I was going to commend one of them, but no. What just happened? Why is gravity only reverse for us? Good, I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. Noise. It's a good game, isn't it? I've heard it's a good game. I should play it. They replace um, Hydaelyn's voice as well. I think that might be the first time we've heard her since Around Reborn. There we go. Through time and space hast thou journeyed unto me, as I knew thou wouldst. Yes. Who's that? We are the word of the mother. We, who were once called Nymphilia. Hey, Nymphilia. How are things? What's going on? What? Much time hath passed for thee since the bloody banquet. Since... Yeah. Since I hearkened to her word. Mother... Uh-huh. Hydaelyn guided me towards Yishtola and Thancred. We guessed that. I might be swept up in their flow. Yeah, that too. And delivered unto the ethereal sea. And that, yeah, we, yeah, with you so far. There, um, adrift and alone. Her voice silent once more. I prayed for those we had lost, for those we can yet save. To her, I would make an offering. Sure. We speak now with one voice, one will, one word. Unto thee we bequeath the most precious of gifts, the truth which lieth at the heart of this world. Thus do we beseech thee once more, here Feel, sink. Does that mean we're not getting Minfilia back? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think Tancred's going to be too happy. Before there was life in the depths of the ethereal sea, Light and dark did once dwell as one. But the darkness coveted power, and the balance was broken. Thus was I forced to banish him unto the distant heavens, to forever remain apart, a moon bound. Right. And sundering the star did we cry out, and the barriers twixt planes chanced to falter. Across ten and three were we then divided. Reflections of the source, each possessed of a shard. Zodiac longeth to be made whole. 
For his restoration, for his resurrection, his servants labor without cease. Zodiac, that's the, um, the Cetians one, isn't it? They seek to tear down the barriers which surround the source. Thus do they rejoice in their ardor, in your calamities, for each marks a rejoining. Right, and there's one coming up, isn't there? That's what I think they said at the end of Heaven's War, that there's a rejoining coming up or something. Seven times have they succeeded. Seven times hath the darkness grown stronger. Seven times have I failed. Well. The Asians cannot be suffered to continue. This, this is my final. Oh. What's going on? The crystal's power is all but spent. With what remains, I will return you to the shore of the ethereal sea. Right, we don't even get in feeling about, do we? Or do we? I don't know. Blessed children. Go forth and see. Seek what? What are we seeking? What? Uh -oh. <laughs> huh? I mean, we found Mephelia, great. What's it? What? Um, hey guys, so good news or bad news? Thank the Twelve. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did you find uh -huh. her? Did you find Minfilia? That's the good news, yes, I did. I, I get the feeling she's saying the bad news. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. Um, so, uh -huh. of the mother i'm not sure i understand nor am i cryo i didn't think thank would be too happy about this to be honest as unbelievable as it sounds i see no reason to doubt her the words tale. No one was more sensitive to the will of Hydaelyn than Menphilia. And if Hydaelyn has grown so weak that she can barely make herself heard, it is not hard to see why Menphilia, having joined with her, might struggle to maintain her own form. Yeah, um, if Hydaelyn's grown so weak that she can barely make herself heard, Surely she's too weak to then hold Nephilia in a physical form and speak through her. Surely it'd be easier to speak directly to who she's trying to speak to than through a physical form of Nephilia. What? Why would she need to maintain her own form? Are you saying... Are you saying she's gone? Yes, it sounds like that, Alpha Lord. Keep up, bud. But that cannot be. Not now. Not after all we have accomplished. We were meant to wash her in the dawn's light together. I don't think she's dead, Alpha Nord. I think her physical form's just gone, you know? She threw herself on the fire to fuel your dawn's light, boy. You'll just have to usher it in on your own. Must you be so ungentle?
Tell me about the Scions, boy. Ooh. What story coming along? Oh, I have it. That the Scions of the Seventh Dawn lay before Aeolzia's salvation. Whenever the realm is threatened, be it by Primal, Asian, Garlean, or any other, we take up arms in her defense. That all in Aeolzia may live to see a brighter tomorrow. Yes. And that's very noble of you. But in chasing after these lofty goals of yours, you seem to have lost sight of some basic truths. To win a war, you must be willing to do whatever it takes. To fight. To kill. And if necessary, to die. Yes. The path you've chosen is paved with the dead. Walk it with your eyes open. Or not at all. Well, I mean, Dankard's got one eye open, Stoller's got no eyes open. I mean, the rest of us have eyes open. So. I know the truth of which you speak, and have from the first. Right. If the Asians will go to any length to resurrect their god, then we must needs be as committed to our cause, to unmask them and their schemes, and to crush them both utterly. Right, yeah. Come, there is much to be done. Yes, of course. Sure, okay. It's much to be done. So be it. Thancred, wait! He's really not happy. No. No, this is all wrong. I'm not convinced me feeling is dead dead. I think it's, it's just her physical form's gone. And she has just allied herself with... Um, Hydaelyn, that's the one. Uh, and that's... That's just it. Like, her, her spirit, her soul still exists. It's just not in physical form. So I think that's all it is. Anyway, Alconor, hey. She's... She's not coming back, is she? Um, she did what she thought was best. We'll go with that. I know that. I do. To give all for her beliefs was her ever, oh, was ever her way. So we uh, will we, as we must. What greater calling could there be than to stand against the dark as defenders of the light? And yet, where does it end? The sacrifice, the loss. I know. I know. Well, that's a cool little minion, though. I've also got to use the wind up counter count minion as well. I think that's it for minions. I do actually have a mobile seedling, seedling, but I already have that minion, so. I'm still wondering what I should be doing with that one, to be honest. But I can do it with it. Anyway, yeah, so that was, uh, that's as far as we're going today. Um, this war of ours is the next quest we're going to be jumping into. It's number 11 out of 44, so we're making decent pace considering we've got four days left until we start Stormblood. That's the goal at least. Um, well, uh, sorry, three days. Yes, three days left. Uh, today being day one of four, so three days remaining. So, yeah. But yes, like I said, that is where I'm going to be calling it today. Let me just put up my stream there so I can throw the stream. There we go. Um, I do appreciate everyone watching. I thank you very much. Um, so I am going to be streaming tomorrow, which I wouldn't normally do, uh, and Tuesday, which I also wouldn't normally do, um, just so we can try and power through the Dragon Song storyline before Thursday. Um, then I am going to. I am. I'm thinking I'm going to start bringing back the Wednesday streams officially from next week. So this Wednesday will be our first Wednesday back after me having to sort of stop doing them for a bit uh, but we're like you know going forwards i'm going to be doing every wednesday just the monday and tuesday next week is, is you know, one off just to see us through heaven's world uh you know dragon song quest lines but yeah um it'll be from 7 p.m tomorrow and 7 p.m tuesday 7 p.m wednesday 7 p.m thursday you get the picture 7 p.m uk time uh and then hopefully yeah we'll smash through heaven's world post heaven's world content by end of wednesday you know beginning of thursday stream at the latest i'd rather get it done by then though 
Um, but yeah. Hopefully still blood and thirsty. Thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it. I'll see everyone tomorrow then from 7pm UK time.